Hello? Is anybody there? I, I can't even do this voice without giggling. <clears throat> Hiya. I've got a little bit of a library of PlayStation games that I thought I might share. And by a little bit of a library, I mean I've got a lot of PlayStation games and don't know which ones to add to the list. And so that's going to be what we're doing today. We're going to figure that out. We're going to figure out what we want to do. Because there's a ton. I we You can ask fucking Safara and Bananas and Key Squid. I looked up a catalog of so many different PlayStation 1 games, so many different ways to play, and as it turns out, there's not a lot of good ones. <laughs> there's a lot of ones. There's a whole lot of ones. Hoopity doopity. We're gonna get into it though. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Hey Bentley. <clears throat> Sly, if you if you fuck your dad, you'll be able to go back in time or something. I don't know. I don't make the rules, dude. This is a game where we capture ghosts and kidnap generals. Do you really think it's gonna make any sense? Irritating stick? What is that? What, what about the stick is irritating? I'm a little afraid of this. I must admit, I am not comfortable with the idea of an irritating stick. Let's see here. What have we got? We've got, um... Oh, we got this. I'll put this on while we wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's get into it. Hello. Have you ever been crud.berry slash slash dot com? Hello, welcome to the McFucking stream. Wait, hang on. If I go to if I go to pregame, is it gonna be this PNG? Hey, look at that! My name is Crudberry, and I love you. Hi. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're prepared. Looking good, cute, and soft. Hey, 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 same to you. So, uh, I want to be pumped. I want to get pumped up. I want to get into the vibe. We're going to have a good time. I want to look at some games. Uh, and there's, you know, there's some... There's some we could get into. Uh, a little bit of backstory, by the way, since this is a fundraiser slash uh, crudathon. I specifically named it a crudathon because here's the thing. Uh, while I do want to do an event and I want to make it a big deal and I want you to understand that every time I come back, it's going to be some kind of special thing happening, uh, i.e. playing PS1 games for a while, uh, I also do not want to do anything incredibly unhealthy. I just got my sleep schedule back to normal. I do not want to do a subathon where I have to like be on stream the whole time. I know that's like the Twitch thing to do. It's not my style. I don't like it. So I invented a new thing. It's a crudathon. It's basically a subathon. It's a fundraiser in which I am doing things in a special way to get money if people are willing to give. However, I will be ending stream before my bedtime and we'll just start up again the next day. And that's how we'll go. That's how we're gonna do it. It is very important to me that I get beauty rest because I am, you know, hibernating. It's winter time. It's getting close to winter time at least. I never understand stream until I feel like death. Yeah, it's, it's not a vibe that I like to support. Um, of course, I like to support the streamers who do it, but I'm talking about, like, with my own brand. I probably will never do that. 12-hour streams are easy. I have done those before. Uh, the end of Dark Souls was 11 hours and, like, 59 minutes. So, yeah, there's, there's plenty of room for long streams, but I am not going to stream beyond how long I want to. That's the whole point. Fluffy underscore scales cheered X10. 
Yip 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 Kazen King have soft gifted a tier 1 sub to Butts, but they have given 205 gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much, Kazen, for gifting a sub to Buttsbot. Now Buttsbot can say all these different crazy things. Crazy kooky things. Also, thank you to... Hibbity bibbity bibbity bip. Let me take a look. Uh, Timberwolf. Thank you, Timber, for gifting me a sub to 1, 2, Pop. I love these emotes. I love Pop's emotes so much. Look at these. Look at how cute these are. Look at how cute. Look at Pop. I believe, uh, so Gabe definitely did that second one there, the blushy. That's definitely a Gabe joint. Um, I believe one of these is by TJ Capiarts, and one of these might be by Dave. Uh, but yeah, these are, these are very, very good. I love it. Love you, Deej. What the heck? I love you. All right, okay. And cut. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at some fucking video games. I have taken the liberty of pulling up a long play of 007 Racing. Uh, in this catalog, it goes by, uh, you know, letter. So the first thing that we have is numbers. And I already have one pulled up. I have never heard of 007 Racing. So for at least for at least for the first, you know, the first little bit of the stream. We're just gonna we're just gonna take a look at some PS1 games and see what we think of the lot of them. Cause it seems like a good time. There we go. That's what we want. Damn, YouTube is long nowadays, huh? YouTube got that long shit going on. Hello. Thank you. Kazen King of Soft gifted a tier 1 sub to Draco7891. They have given 206 gift subs in the channel. This is kind of quiet. Oh my god. <laughs> and you might be Bond. James Bond. Oh my god. There's so much happening. This is a racing game? <laughs> this remix is fire. It's not bad. Okay. All right. Let's let's get to some uh get some gameplay. Okay. There's the border. Hurry, Mr. Bond. Was that the wind condition? Oh, I guess so. There's no sound for this part. There's definitely supposed to be sound for this part. What was her cargo? All right, let's let's try a different one. Uh, here. Now pay attention, I'm less. Hey. 
Route is clear, 007. Discretion is the better part of valor. The rear screen is built to withstand a reasonable amount of gunfire, 007. Avoidance tactics would be prudent. For the sake of the car, 007, return fire! So this isn't really a racing game so much as it's a James Bond game that takes place entirely within a car. Yeah, no, this is straight up not racing at all. I guess you're racing the clock? Oh my god. That's not what EMPs do. Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just a laser, my guy! It's like Stuntman? Yeah, I guess. Holy shit. understand why you have to keep hitting it after the thing is like half exploded like they're not going to repair it when there's a big like cartoon Godzilla bite taken out of it objective attained 007 <laughs> oh yeah just stop the car there no you've escaped they're not gonna chase you that's <laughs> It's good to see you, uh... Okay. Alright, that's a game. <laughs> it's okay to use the static electricity, just rub paws on carpet for a moment and fire a laser at someone. That's a pretty good power, honestly. Alright, so... Let's look at some more games on the list. We've got, uh... More 007 games, World Is Not Enough, Tomorrow Never Dies. Are these good? Are these good games? They're not the ones that people know. Uh, let's move to A. There's Ace Combat 2? Aces of the Air? Action Man? Operation Extreme? What is that? What is Action Man? Alright, here we go. Yeah, skip that. Yo. He's fucking going. There's more than just cars to this, right? Oh, look at him. He's he's doing it. He's doing actions. <laughs> we have GTA at home. PowerPoint? Y you picked up a copy of Microsoft PowerPoint? To open. Okay. This looks pretty boring, actually. Queen plant. Oh, yo, is this a boss battle? Get it, action man. It's got a tongue? Refining the mutant plants would produce a powerful sleeping toxin. I could definitely see this being a game that, like, people played. Look, this has some fucking love put into it, for sure. The mountain is collapsing. I'd better get out of here. 
Maybe not as much as I would have put into it, but you know, it's, it's, I mean, I, I it, if I had the time, I'm not saying I could make a whole game by myself. I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's, if if you were given all the resources and love you could possibly have for a project, it, you might you might do a little more than. The building is collapsing as he stands still, but maybe not. Kazen King of Soft gifted a tier one sub to Grove Tender Alba. They Kazen. have given 207 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, thank you. I should make like a like a whole different bar for that, honestly. I could fit it down there. I could fit a bar. Oh, but then where would the other people go? Hang on. I'll just have a sub counter. Kazen, thank you so much for the for the heck for the sub. You're really helping out by gifting stuff. I know it doesn't go on to the totally rad hex power bar. Um because I do want to encourage the the donations just because it makes it easier. Everything that goes into a donation goes to me. Uh, which is not to discourage people from giving subs. I feel like I'm like backing myself into a corner the more I talk about money. I just hate talking about money. Ape Escape! Yo, hang on. Ape Escape actually is a bop. We gotta play that one. We gotta play some Ape Escape. That sounds like an incredible time. That sounds like only a good time. Uh, here, let me let me put on some fucking Ape Escape gameplay. You did great. I love this guy. Little lightsaber kid. I don't remember there being enemies in this game that weren't the apes. I just remember running around and getting monkey. <laughs> a worthy Mario 64 competitor IMO, even if it's smaller scale? I could agree with that. I had a lot of fun with Ape Escape when I was a kid. Wasn't it something like... Like somehow the second one wasn't as good, even though it's like... Like larger scale. You should look up Don Patchy or Do Don Patchy. PS1 had many good schmucks. I could look that up. in them were bangers. Okay. Gotcha! gotcha. <laughs> Let's hit it. I can't tell what they were saying. This was recorded four years ago? Oh my god, the bass! This is bad quality, yeah. I'm gonna look at this one, maybe? This is similar quality. 
This one. What the fuck is happening? There's no music. Did they turn off the music for the whole game? I mean, this looks awesome, but... <laughs> Yo! Good, dude, this soundtrack rules! Uh... Hello? Disney's 102 Dalmatians on the PS1? I'm getting distracted thoroughly? <laughs> immediately! Oh, immediately, huh? We're just gonna start off with some shit I can't handle? Let's, let's, let's hit that one more game, actually. Mmm. Mmm. What a sound. Look at that art! It looks official. We return to the adventures of Thunderbolt in, in space. space! After these words from our sponsor. Not another commercial. Hey, Oddball! Let's go dig for pirate treasure in the yard! You bet! But Domino, do you think it will be okay with Mom? Yeah, no sweat. Mom and Dad will What's be back the zoom? Walks. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, Domino, what's this? That's just one of those crummy robot toys Corella de Villa's making. Who would want such an ugly hunk of junk? I'm ruined! Ruined, I say! My toys! My marvelous, splendid toys! They're selling worse than Brussels sprouts! Don't worry, Miss Deville. I'm sure this new one will be a big hit. No fool! Can't you see? The spoiled brats kind of, of England must be spending their pocket money on something else. <laughs> and we must eliminate that competition. Yes, there's no other choice! Professor Farsboom! Get your head out of your toy programming and answer the phone! Uh, yes, Cruella, my <laughs> Fars Boom. My high tech uh, yes, Cruella. plan B. Hey everybody, we're back! Mom? Dad? Hey, where is everybody? Oh look, Dipstick. They're Oddball and Domino. At least they're still here. Listen. It's coming on the TV right now. And all over England, pets of every kind are vanishing without a trace. Scotland Yard is now on the case, and... How is Corella able I to do this a second time? It. Our puppies, gone. It's that horrid Cruella de Vil up to her old tricks. I just know it. But what can we do, darling? I'll tell you what we can do. We'll go over to that evil woman's toy factory, get our pups back, and have it out with her once and for all. You're right, Dipstick. Oh, I could just fight that woman. Now, Oddball and Domino, you puppies stay right here. Take care of our humans while we're gone, and don't worry. We'll be back with all your brothers and sisters as soon as we can. Goodbye, my darlings. And be good. Why are you leaving them both alone? One so of you could stay. Be good? Or do you want to go help rescue our family? My thoughts exactly, sis. Let's go. And then they go. <laughs> I wonder what the gameplay is like. Hello there, puppy. Oh, Maybe there's a parrot or a macaw. Hi, Wattlesworth. I'm Dipstick about to commit sisters. murder. I mean, I they might be in trouble. Wouldn't yes, you? <laughs> sent out an army of robotic toys to capture all the pets in England. But why? 
What is she going to do with them? The robots are locking the pets into crates like this one and taking them to Cruella's toy factory outside of London. Can we stop them? Of course! The toys are dangerous if you're not careful, but they are very poorly made. A loud bark at close range will destroy... Okay. <laughs> Let's get some gameplay. <laughs> Big Way Cather Monster Chit X10. The tragic canon end of this game meant the next movie was 98 Dalmatians. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Canon thing is from time to time you will find toys like this Just looks like Spyro minus the hot dragons it also kind of sounds like a Rugrats game like are you hearing that or is it just me I'm sorry no 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 do you have laser bark this was like a shotgun blast <laughs> this dog is nuts! You're a super puppy! Me too. Oh god, do you ever plan on playing that Rugrats PS1 game? You know? I could. Yo, this game has controls, though. Like, hold on. This looks kind of fun. This actually is supposed to be a Spyro clone. That's totally what's happening. You're, like, freeing the dragons. Alright, Gex? Oh, Gex. Do we even have to talk about Gex? Is Gex even a thing that I need to show you? Let's take a look at Gex. Little did I know, fired up the Barca lounger, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and prepared to watch some serious tube. Little did I know, my snack was sent by Rez. You know, I will say I never understood why Rez wanted to kill Gex. Isn't he just a guy? I'm invincible! Wait, is this one 2D? Time to teach someone some manners! Is this like a Rayman situation? Bob Hope has more color in his cheek. Oh my god. This would be great for my collection. I never knew this was a 2D game. Is it is it Gex 2? Is that the first one that's like actually 3D? Yeah, enter the gecko. I played this as a kid. Whoa! Whoa! 
This is 3D as fuck. I need this. That's actually like really fucking cool. Look up Croc. Let's lament about tank controls. I hate Croc. I hate Croc. Let me tell you all a story. Let me tell you a fucking story about Croc Legend of the Gabos. Uh, this fucking game... I did not remember because I played it when I was like four years old. Um, but somebody showed me music from this game. I think it might have been... Um, Oh. Well, it's too bad that that big hand didn't belong to someone hotter. Um, but yeah, I think it might have been uh, Sushi Fur played Croc. And as soon as I heard the music, I was like, what the fuck? This is burned into my mind and it makes me angry. This shit. Listen to this shit. I, I feel nothing but rage when I hear that. I watched Gamboard complete this game and man at the time. If I remember correctly, this is one of those games where you can, like, you can make a wrong move objectively, and then you just can't get, like, half of the things in the level because you broke something. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Like, you have to do, like, some kind of wacky jumps to get the secret areas that actually, like, have a whole bunch of shit you need to progress. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that. I remember... I remember the anger. And this was supposed to be like the Mario killer. Have you seen the... Hang on. <laughs> One second, I'm gonna have to look something up. And I don't want you to see the results before I get there. Oh, thank God I didn't show you this. <laughs> Alright, backing up. Backing up. Uh... Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. See, I, I, knew, I, I knew I would type the wrong thing first. Uh, open image and new tab. Here we go. So, have you seen... This ad featuring Croc having handily eaten stars of other video games, rubbing his belly and using a toothpick. Have you seen this? Because this is what they thought it was going to be like. They were like, ah, Crash Bandicoot, Super Mario, Lara Croft. Nah, they all get fucking nommed. Croc is better. Croc is the best 3D platformer out there. Um... How did they think this? How were they so confident? I will give them this. Croc is actually, like, well put together. Um, it's smooth. The music is incredible. Like, there's a lot of love put into Croc. But it's not a Mario killer. It's not a Crash Bandicoot killer. Which, by the way, speaking of Crash Bandicoot... We'll get back to that. But yeah, this is what they thought of Croc. This is what they thought Croc would be. And by the and if if you were curious, I did look up Croc Vor ad, and it gave me many results that I did not want. You'll be you'll be happy to know that I I really did need to put on the be right back screen. Hello, Leggy. Ow! 
Oh my god, all your stuff like and then it disappears? What? You can't get hit at all? Big Kevin Monster Chit X10. Critics almost unanimously commented that the game is very derivative, shamelessly taking elements from earlier platformers such as Tomb Raider, hanging onto ledges, pushing blocks, Sonic the Hedgehog, losing collected items when hit, Gex, the Tail Whip Attack, and Super Mario 64, the Butt Stomp, the Free Roaming 3D, the visual style. That's actually really interesting. The idea that critics looked at Croc and were like, this is just trying to be all these other different games. Um, none of that, I think, is apt, actually. Croc obviously looks better than Gex. I mean, do you, wanna, do you need a refresher on what Gex looks like? Because it... like it's not bad but compared to this like there's a there's a clear like visual like congruency that croc has with itself that gex did not have even just the fact that the main character looks like he belongs in the front of the screen Gex is just like this thin, washed out model. And Croc has so much love put into him. He's he's thick. He's a thick boy. Never said anything about looks, talked about game elements. Gee, that I I mean I guess it was like the beginning of the 3D era, right? So like what are you gonna criticize besides like, oh you don't have your own ideas? But I don't know. How many things were derivative back in the day, right? Like, are you gonna are you gonna get mad at Rayman because he jumps and sometimes can land on an enemy and that'll hit them? Like I don't know. Ugh, it's so weird to me to think of Croc as derivative. Croc is like the most unique PS1 platformer I can think of. The most unique, popular PS1 platformer I can think of. Um, it really is just kind of its own fucking thing. It's more about puzzles than uh, like the level design. It's, it's nothing like Mario 64. Rayman has sadly been forgotten and replaced by Rabbids. Pretty true. Very sad. They should make a Crudberry 3D platformer. Yeah, they should. You know what? They should. Do you know what you would play a Crudberry 3D platformer on? Do you have any idea what kind of thing you would want to play a Crudberry 3D platformer on? I think you'd want to play it on a TV. I think this would be a perfect TV to play a Crudberry 3D platformer on. And I think if you were to make a Crudberry 3D platformer, it should have really cool music. Um, something something kind of like this. Yeah, cool music and sound effects, like this. And then it should go silent, and then it should look like this. Oh my god, you're so fucking cute! But is Crudberry 64 safe to stream on Twitch? No, it is NSFW. You'd better watch the fuck out. Would your character be talking nonstop or would they just say noises like rah rah? <laughs> I, I think a little bit of both. I think in cutscenes, I would, I, would, I would speak very intense English and I would be like, oh yes, indubitably, we're gonna get through here. We're going to jump up and grab all of these things and we'll save the planet and then during the game, it's like... Is this some sort of marathon? It is some sort of marathon. We're going to go a very long time today. Ah! Fuck 
fucking love this little guy. I can't grow them both at the same time? Here, hang on. Let me make this bigger. And then we'll make the game bigger. Here we go. Oh, my A marathon. <laughs> Will I be able to wake up and see you? Probably not. Uh, a lot of the idea of what I want to do with this marathon is that I don't want to just be up forever streaming until an hour when I don't want to stream. Uh, and so I won't do that. It sounded like Leggy was making a pass at you. <laughs> Craig Bay, and I'm gonna am I gonna wake up and look next to me in bed and see you there? Who knows? Anything's possible. <laughs> Kazen. Oh, speaking of waking up and seeing your favorite streamers next to you, um, Gaby Baby has made a VOD channel. In case you didn't know, that's up on YouTube right now. All of the Octopath episodes are up. Uh, and I listened to the longest one while I slept last night, and it was a very pleasant experience. I very much recommend doing that. It is uh, Gabriel Valentine on YouTube. Look that up and, and have a good time just, just watching these fucking... Beauties play Octopath. I wish I could get into Octopath. I... I kinda wanna try it. I've never really tried, you know, like a traditional, like... Like, humans running around and hitting things with swords JRPG. But I also think that might be for a reason. Get him! Fuffin' subbed. Hey, Deej. Hello, Trinity. Oh, shirt. Sure. We need to go back for that. Okay, no, I got it. Uh, also, I haven't done, like, a proper stream intro yet. We just sort of started right up looking at PlayStation games. I don't know. I, I feel like I was overthinking it earlier, because I... I don't know. Something about starting an event like this makes me so nervous. Uh... But there's no need for that. We're just having a good time. That's kind of the vibe that I want anyway, is just like... I don't want there to be any like... I don't want there to be any extra pressure on me, and I certainly don't want extra pressure on y'all, you know what I mean? Like... It's important to me that this stream just feels like every other stream. Uh... But... Oh no, that's a missed box! Okay, well, leave that. We're not going back. Waking up to see a friend would be really fucking nice. I do agree. Super looking forward to MFF. Oh my god! MFF is gonna be good. I'm gonna see so many beautiful people. I am looking forward to that. Why don't we just try doing Insanity Beach again? There's no reason not to.
Alright, just break these. I'm not gonna waste time jumping on them. <laughs> That's okay, I'll help you for this year, Lucky. What a good friend. For a second there, Kazen. Yeah, it, 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 sometimes it's hard to tell. I couldn't explain exactly what makes them so indistinguishable, but there's just something about them. Maybe something in the face? I think Buttspot and Kazen have a similar nose. Very careful. This game is fucking hard with this shit. You both got striped snoots. <laughs> Alright. Three, two, one. Whoop. One, two. <laughs> nice try. What is Butts Bot Sona? Uh, it's got to be something with a big ass. I think Butts Bot would be a big dragon. Protogen? Oh, Protogen could be fun. I mean, what? <laughs> Protogen is good. Agreed. Agreed that they're both good and hot. The first thing that comes to mind is skunk, probably because of the whole butt thing. Skunks seem to have a certain affinity for butts, and I couldn't tell you why. I could, but I won't. I can't. It's not allowed. I'll get sued. Okay, give me that. Is there a button I can hit to... To see my totals? No, okay. Oh! You tried me. But you did not succeed, did you? Okay, cool. We got all the boxes. Protogen is too complicated. Return to cave gin? Big cave protogen? Wait, I got all the boxes, don't I get something for that? Hello? Alright, fine, damn. Completely missed that this isn't just a video. Oh yeah, no, I'm actually playing this game now. DOS Proto on a big box monitor? I would love that. Oh, Skunk! Goodbye. You just walked off a cliff! <laughs> Butt spot, no! Oh. 
How you get to bonuses in this game, isn't it? I forgot about that. What have I got? You have to collect three heads. But yeah, let's do the proper stream in shows. Chat, how are you doing? How baba? Tell me about you. Tell me how you're feeling. Coco used to be quote unquote hot. That was not Coco. This is uh the other one. What's her fucking name? She's in Crash 4, and they actually made her like correctly hot. Tawny, I think it's Tawny, yeah. Uh been feeling heavy Black Friday stress lately. I could understand why. Candy Kong. Alba is the most gender euphoric I've ever felt? That's incredible. Hell yeah, I'm proud of you. August doing homework. Uh, doing fine outside of work. Well, at least that's good to hear, Mail City. What are your Black Friday stresses? What comes to mind? Very weird romance. Hello, hello. Welcome. First snow of the season. Oh, that's kind of awesome. I'd love to hear about snow. Is that everything? Oh. Is this the only way to save your game? What the fuck? What is that? Oh, that's Dino Crisis! <laughs> Oh my god, this is my memory card! That's Dino Crisis! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, honestly, just start saving over Regina George. Is this an actual PS1? Maybe. Well, bam. <laughs> Regina George? Now she's Regina Gunn. Why are the skunks so adorable and flat? It's the... Huh? Well, where did I miss boxes? I didn't miss boxes. Fuck off. How do you still have such a thing? Uh, were I to confirm that this was an actual PS1, uh, I would have it because of Daniel Tosh. It would be the PS1 that caught on fire when I tried to play uh, Resident Evil a long, long time ago. That's the first VOD that I have on my channel, by the way. You can go back and look at that. Think need the green gym for those actual for those extra boxes? Yeah, probably. What have I got? The PS1 you got from Drake? No, the PS1 that I got from Daniel Tosh. I wouldn't take anything from Drake. That guy looks at underage feet.
<laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, Drake is fucked up. How about Nathan Drake? He had a PS1. Oh my god, true! Also plus two, I like that. Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> that guy comes back, right? That guy comes back? Alright, well, if he doesn't come back, then neither do I. What did you just do to that monkey? I I sucked him into my ass. Look at this. Oh, okay. I guess you can't suck him in when they're just rolling around. That we do. Florp? What have I got? What a bugger! So, okay, big question. What was the obsession in, like, 80s and 90s media with, uh, like, island natives? Like, th the presumption, I think, is that in a modern day world, like, this is what an island native society looks like. Which, like, it's not even based on anything. It's, it's like... It's just a hodgepodge of different shit. And a lot of it is from Indiana Jones. It's so weird. I remember Gex had, like island native shit and like this game has it fucking I mean I guess Warcraft isn't like islanders but it it's the same kind of deal and they're always enemies there's just something uncomfortable about it I don't know it's it's definitely not just me, but maybe it's just me, you know? I'm saying it like a phrase. Maybe it's just me. It's not, but it's it feels uncomfortable. I don't like it. Even if this was like a, oh, crash went back in time kind of scenario, I feel like there are better ways to represent real people groups that really existed. Or at least to represent something based on real people groups that existed. I wonder if they just became like the typical enemies for tropical islands. I think there must have been some kind of like... There must be some kind of pop culture reference that they were all making at one point, and then people forgot about it. Like, um... Oh, shit! That was clutch, actually. Um... I don't know what would it be. Did Gulliver's Travels have like was that like a native population or were they like modern? I don't know. Or well I mean it they were native to the island, but I'm talking about like the stupid like uh like stereotype of a native population. Cause that story being written by white people means that they're either going to be like I don't even want to, like... 
it's either going to be this or it's going to be like Britain. <laughs> There's only two choices. It comes from anthropology. Old anthropologists were racist. That makes sense. And it just went with what people think when they envisioned the world's native villager. I guess? Maybe the thing that bothers me is... Um... It's less so that they're being represented in a way. Because, like, I, I am not the right person to confirm or deny whether any of this looks anything like a real thing. Of course, this is a mix of, like... Native North Americans with, like... Uh, like Aztec and Maya inspiration. Um, like the, this, this is just straight up like an island that doesn't exist. Um, but the thing that always gets to me is the representation of every native people as like hyper aggressive, like mean spirited folk. Who were like, oh, a, another person? I gotta kill it. Oh, a, an animal? I gotta skewer it. It's the only way to go. Oh, get, get ready for all my traps and tricks. We, we've set up an Indiana Jones boulder for anyone who dares go down this pathway. Like, I don't... I don't think there's very much record... of this... <laughs> Like, maybe in, specifically in, like, tombs and treasure rooms there was something like that, but, like... I don't know. It feels like a lot of it comes from the... The, the concept of quote-unquote savagery that was so popularized by the British. Not to get political playing Crash Bandicoot, but it, it, it just... I can't help but look at how one of the main enemies I'm fighting are just people. <laughs> and I have a hard time looking at that and being like, oh, this feels okay. You think it's just a bad stereotype we've eventually stopped using? Yeah. It's also like, Cortex is on this island right now, and he's doing fucked up shit with all the animals. You would think that coming to a village would actually be like, a way to find allies? Oh my god, this is hard. The good news is, I'm pretty sure after the first game you don't see those guys again. Fuck. Chid. Oh, come on. Neocortex is just a person, technically. A yellow person with a huge head, but a person nonetheless. I mean, yeah, but that's... Th that's neither here nor there. I'm not criticizing the design of Cortex. I'm criticizing the fact that, like... 
if the story is that Cortex is destroying the environment on this island, which he is doing, uh, why, why doesn't Crash team up with the people who live here instead of just, oh, immediately as you stumble into a village, you're attacked and thrown off cliffs and speared. Feels weird. Twin Sanity, they're in that game. They brought the... They brought the uncomfortable visuals of natives back for Crash Twin Sanity? Why would they do that? It seems like Naughty Dog kind of figured out like, oh, this is bad, and stopped doing it. <laughs> and then... And then you give fucking Vivendi Universal the rights to the game, and they're like, Hey, look at all of this ripe property just just sitting here. Why don't we use these designs, guys? What have I got? Oh my god. What have I got? You could fit the des the description of demon to the people so they hate you. I mean, maybe, but like they don't explain that. Like, it, it just feels like an irresponsible representation of other human beings. Because, like, even that explanation is a bias towards, like, aggression that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with anything. Imagine, okay, imagine if like imagine a in a christian like anglo-saxon society if it was rumored that somebody was a werewolf um and there was like like there was like oh we don't have any evidence that they've hurt anyone but i i think they turn into a wolf at night uh you wouldn't get like immediately the whole village is just like up in flames and bringing, like, spears and shit to kill you, you would get, like, folks would investigate. They would be cautious. They would be like, hey, did, what, what's up with that guy? The kids would have rumors and they would go look in your window. Um, and then maybe eventually, if it was thought that you actually murdered someone, then there would be uproar. And then the government would probably execute you publicly. Which is, like pretty fucked up, but it's still, like, it's better than this? <laughs> I, I guess my point is, the assumption is that these people would act this aggressively, uh, which is, like, cartoonish to think of just about any people group. Okay, let's get out of here. I had to scratch my head for a second. Look at what happened with Salem. One person accused another of being a witch, and then mass hysteria breaks down, and soon everyone is a witch. Yes. Like, that kind of thing can happen anywhere. Um, but it's like... Like, I, I guess the comparison that I'm making is, even in that situation, uh, if you look at, like, the... 
if you look at the public consciousness representation of these different peoples, um, a random newcomer walking into Salem uh, and being like distrusted by the people uh, in Salem, it would be like, well, I don't like that guy. And everyone's like looking at you. Maybe somebody like bumps into you on the road and like you get frowns. But that's just like rude, maybe dangerous eventually. Um, versus if you think of the same thing, like think of think of what people generally consider if you walked into a place with island natives, like that exact same scenario, and presuming they've seen people before even, the idea isn't that they would be like, Mm, I don't know about this guy. The idea is that somebody would attack you. <laughs> like, that is what it's represented as. Uh, and that's just kind of fucked, you know? Like, there is genuinely no reason for this guy to give a shit about me. I'm just a bandicoot. What am I going to do to him? He doesn't work for Cortex, as far as I know. And if he does, they don't explain that. There's nothing to indicate that he does. Like, the other people that you fight are mutants that Cortex made, and it's like, okay, that makes sense. Hi, Lunar, we're talking about mass hysteria. <laughs> we're talking about mass hysteria in very strange representations of people. You are unknown to him, and that man fears that which he does not know. But what says he does? Why, why do we assume that he fears that? Like, straight up, do you remember the fucking... Do you remember, like, the... Alright, okay, 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 okay. How about this? Um... Let's talk about the holiday that doesn't exist, uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, it's not real. Let's talk about that, right? You have these people who arrive on a boat, and they just fucking show up, and they look different, and they wear different clothes, and they speak a different language, and the Native Americans were not like, Yo, we gotta kill these motherfuckers! They were like, uh, what the hell is this? I'm very interested. Can we communicate with them? Do they know about, like, food? Should we, like, like, teach them something? Can they teach us something? I don't know. This seems like an interesting opportunity, right? And then we made up a whole story about how we all gave thanks together, and it was like, oh, it's so nice that they... They allowed us into their society. That that didn't happen. That's all fake. Um, obviously, we just killed them. Obviously, the Americans just or the the British just killed them and then took over the land. Uh, but in the fake Thanksgiving story, it was like, wow, we're all friends. Like the people who were aggressive in in the actual history of that were not the natives. And even in the fake history, it was not the natives. I just don't get it. I don't get why we assume that people who are not socialized with other kinds of people are immediately going to be aggressive. I don't know if there's any historical precedent to, like, justify that. I don't know if we've encountered that. The real historical precedent actually lies in, like, like folks from places like Britain, uh, or like ancient Rome. Basically, if you want to conquer something, that is generally when humans are really aggressive to other humans. Uh, otherwise, a lot of it, I think, is genuinely just hysteria. Just like, oh my god, can you believe... Can you believe what the the Aztecs used to be like? Oh, savagery.
I think a lot of the stuff is based on Aboriginal things and racism. Yeah, that's that's kind of the the vibe. That's that's just that's just the thing that like I don't know. I don't know why I'm bringing it up. It just bothers me. <laughs> it, it's it's the fact that this was made in the late '90s, and every time I look at it, I have to think about that. I have to be like. They didn't think this was wrong because this is just what everybody thinks of this kind of, like, people group. And the fact that this is what everybody thinks is indicative of a huge issue. And I don't think this is what everybody necessarily thinks anymore, but it was a common enough idea in the 90s that this video game was just not questioned. Brash Candy Coot? Hello, Flint! Welcome in! I feel the same way when I look at and play old Spyro in some levels. Yeah, I could see that. There's definitely, um like treetops, which is my favorite Spyro level by like, don't fuck that. Okay. <laughs> you saw the face he was making. You saw the intent in his eyes. I don't want anyone to give me any shit for that. Oh my God. Oh my God, this goes so fast. <laughs> I, it's, it's just so uncomfortable, Crash Bandicoot! Um, but yeah, fucking treetops. Uh, those are like... The people in the treetop stage are like fantasy creatures that aren't real. Um, and their, their like anatomy is based off of monkey. And yet... They have like Was that was that this animal on a spit roast? That's fucked up. Uh but they have like like native inspired like tribal shit going on. Which feels odd. Like you have these people that are quite literally monkey people. And it's like, oh yeah, then and obviously they would have like like a, a Native American looking culture, and it's like, hmm. <laughs> the mysterious percentage of Native American I have in my blood is very upset by this. And the very large percentage of black that I have in my blood is like yeah, I feel that, bro. <laughs> Why do I keep trying to go to the left? It's not going to work. Missed you, how you doing? Look forward to seeing you at MFF. Same! I have been... All right, just die. I didn't get the box. Just die. Find a way to die. Find a way to die. Die right here. Goodbye. I have been, like... Like, with my head in the dirt, it feels like. Um, September, almost everything that I did was... Excuse me. Uh, was with Cujo Inferno. Because uh, they were going through some stuff. And I was going through some stuff, and it was just a very healthy, like, let's go through stuff together <laughs> kind of vibe. Go to the right! I remembered! Um, October, I had, like, a thousand different guest events. Like, almost every stream had other people that had been like, you gotta play this in Halloween. And I'm like, okay, I'll play this. And we didn't even get around to fucking the Nadybeak one. Um... 
And this month I'm trying to slow down, but we have come into a hard spot where there is not very much money to go around. Uh, and so now we're doing this. It's a whole other event. And I haven't spoken to my family in weeks. Uh, it's not that serious. I have spoken to my family. I talked to my dad a couple days ago. He's doing fine. Uh, what have I got? So don't worry about that, but uh, you know, it's it just the point I'm making is fuck, there's so much happening. Um, although, to be frank, all, even though I have spoken to my family, one of the conversations we had was me determining that I wouldn't be able to afford making it to Christmas. But just say it. I would love to be there. But given, like, all of the rent that I have to pay and all of the loans that I have to get paid and all of the interest that those loans are taking on because they're super fucking cool and nice and fun. Uh, and then fucking after that we have to like be saving to move. And I don't want to be in the scenario that, uh, that Ego unfortunately found himself in where uh, he gets out of a, like, hyper-abusive job and then isn't making money and then has to leave his home and can't work effectively. Like, uh, all, all sorts of different stuff that I want to avoid. So I, you know, gotta work hard for a bit. It's gonna be a difficult time. I can't believe you're a hostage to Twitch system. I honestly... Twitch has been... <laughs> do not take me, do not take me at my word for what just happened. That's not my description of Twitch. <laughs> I, listen, listen, Jeff, Jeffy, I love you. <laughs> Please. Uh, no, Twitch, Twitch has been the most stable part of my life recently, uh, which is really nice. I I am forever thankful to, to y'all as well as to the platform for making this just tolerable enough that I can stay calm about it. Um Yo! Hey, thank you. Uh oh, TTS didn't read that. That's actually very strange. Um Uh, Queen 671 thank you for the follow. You have a very new account, and that's very sus, so I am watching you, but hello. If you're a real person, then thumbs up. Uh, and the Zerk, thank you so much for continuing that gift sub from Buster Drag. I mean, I suppose... I don't really know what continuing means. Is it just a long gift sub, or is it like you got a gift sub and then you decided to sub yourself just now? Either way, hey, thanks. I'm gonna thank you no matter what. I don't give a shit if you gave me money for that sub. It means a lot to me that you have my emotes and decided to let everybody know. I'm going to scream. <laughs> You gonna play the new Pokemon game on stream? Well, well. Am I now? Volerii Chid X100, also beat Boop Crudathan? Tell me more. This is a reminder to plug yourself, lol. Wow. Area, it's, it's not every day that a viewer reminds me to plug myself. But you know, it is important. You, you gotta do self care every now and again. Everyone, get plugged. That's fine. Um, so yeah, Crudathon, tell me more. Why don't I? Why don't I just tell you more then? Hello. The Axel Amal cheered X100. I'm plugging so hard. Why does everything hurt? Axo! Axo, you gotta plug harder. It'll stop hurting once you get really, really intensely plugged. Um. Hujibu, hujibu, It's fine. 
and get on the heckin' thing. Uh... But hey! Hey, 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 hey! Welcome, everybody! First of all, thank you so much for being here! Y'all are beautiful friends, and I miss you! Uh, beyond that... This is... Something of a marathon? If you recall from last year, if, if any of y'all... Uh, are Crudberry super fans and were here last year when I did this. Um, I had a bunch of Mario games that I played every day, even on my days off. We just sort of went for it super hard, uh, and each stream was like decently long. Um, so this isn't gonna be like the four hour thing that I do sometimes. This is like, holy shit, I fell. This is some fucking getting over it shit. Um, but yeah, it's it's not a traditional marathon in that I simply do not have the stamina to go for multiple days at a time and don't want to. Uh, but it's more like just understand that these streams will be long and significant and they will be happening every day. That's the idea. And it's just to it's just to make some heckin' webinue. So that I can survive. Ah! <laughs> Just like that. That's what's gonna happen if I get revenue. I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce back. Do you also make those exact noises once that's done? Ah, most likely. I make a whole lot of noises. Dude, if I made if I made my streamer noises in bed, I would not have a wife, I swear to god. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I don't know, everyone has their kinks. That's pretty true. If this is your kink, then that's perfectly fine. Fine with me. I'm not gonna have any issue. Look, I can only benefit from people who like weird noises, let me tell you. Doi! We made it. Didn't even break a sweat. Easy every time. So Don't even talk to me. Revenge X69. Webinu woo. <laughs> Webinu woo. <laughs> Hello, RFM. Thank you for the 69 biddies. I really appreciate it. Bibbity bap. Bouncing. Bibbity bap. Bouncing. Bibbity bap. Bouncing. Spillings and shit X100. Love you. Whoa. Sins, thank you for the lol and the 100. Thinking off soft cheer, Dex 10. Cool things to say in bed with your SO, Poggers, LMFAO, spelled out loud, Among Us. So, um. Wow, I have said all of those. I say all of those things, like, on a regular basis, just in general. Crash Barry. I am Crash Barry. Fuck my hole! It's- oh my god, it's ripe for the fucking- You- oh, get- turn, do the turn. I'm so angry. <laughs> Ayo! That's- <laughs> <laughs> I have really evolved as a streamer, haven't I? When I did my first one of these, I remember getting like sheepish after I said something like kind of stupid in the Mario stream. And I I don't know if it's Nicole Goodnight or what, but something has definitely influenced me to just not feel that way anymore. <laughs> Fuck the hole, never fuck your hole. Oh, see, it's a... 
It is simply a figure of speech. I don't want anyone to fuck my hole. I'm a top. All of these things are said in jest, and furthermore, it is assumed that I'm asking for them in Minecraft. Zinking off soft cheer, Dex 10. Huh. Oh, the, the, what, what's the ha for, Kazen? Is something funny? Is something funny? Dragon Boy? Dragon Vamer? Atop Vores, definitely? Yes. Thank you, Buttspot. I do. I am a top and a pred. <laughs> Give me that. Suck my. Zinking off soft cheer, next 10. I didn't hear it, you motherfucker. I'm gonna stand on a leaf. Oh my god, you're so fucking cute! Is it just me, or are these levels like actually kind of fucking like. like a vibe? Whoa! But like something about this is so calm. If I could turn the music off and just have like the the cricket sounds and the water running. It's like it's from a completely different game than the level we were just in. What did that do? Hello? Crash 1 has got some zen going on. It's really nice. Oh heck, fuck, I just spilled all my sin. Kazen, no! Are you gonna play Crash 2? Uh... I do intend to play Crash 2. Oh I, my see, god, you're so fucking cute! The thing is, I would love to fuck my... Car Fox. Nope, I meant to say Carfax, but I thought of the fox. I did my best, chat. Um... What I did I didn't even I didn't even Uh I would love to play Crash 2 this stream actually. Just later. Um And maybe we'll do it if this stream if this bleh, if this game gets like too Frustrating. Hey yeah yeah Uh, because while Crash 1 is technically a short game, it's hard. <laughs> uh, much harder than Crash 2 and 3. At least in terms of, like, controls and, like, the narrow platforming. It's not hard, it's bullshit. You know, that's a good point. I'm gonna be a bad gamer, but I've never played a crash game. Aw, oh, Axo, you've been a you've been a bad gamer. I'm gonna have to turn on your CRT and uh plug in a PlayStation 1. Yeah, how's that feel? You wanna <laughs> You wanna play Spyro 2? With scan lines? You, you want to drink fucking Kool-Aid and, and eat P Pizza Hut? You get a get a demo disc for buying Pizza Hut? You want to eat 7-Up? Drink 7-Up, rather? You play Cool Spot? Same for Rosie, she cheered X10. The F-Zero Star Fox crossover named Car Fox 64. 
That would actually be a pretty good game. I would love a Car Fox game. Isn't Fox McCloud's dad in F Zero? Hello. Why do I feel like this is a thing? You gave me the PAL 50 FPS version, please. Oh yeah. Don't even worry about. It. We're gonna. I'm gonna give you the PlayStation that has the weird plug. <laughs> It's gonna go in the wall a different way than you're used to. Fuck yeah. The weird plug, it all comes full circle. I didn't even think about plugs. Shit! The plant didn't even eat me that time. I think it was just laughing at me. Let's go. Credberry asked Horrible about his quote bot, and he said he didn't remember how he had set it up, and then asked Nady who has the same system, and if I'm correct, I think the difference is either the bots, uh, or there's something you need to activate that's specific to quotes. Huh. That is technically less information than I had before. But that is good to have that confirmation. Also, uh, please, please observe my boyfriend on screen. I love this man. He's not like other guys, you know? He's fucking insane. <laughs> Ooh. Some lies. Shit. Oh my god. Chid X69. Oh hey, it's the fetish boss. <laughs> Only a little bit. Say for Aussie she Chid X10. He's so quirky. Love him. We do love him. Where's he going now? Just in the big diamond? That's pretty easy. <laughs> I forgot he did that. I don't fucking know why it took me so long to appreciate Crash Bandicoot enemies, but Dingo Dial was scary, so... Aw, oh, dude, Dingo Dial was... Awesome. I love Dingo Dial. What the heck? Let me out! Let me out and over. Over wover. Fugma? How do I. Oh. Wait, but then. What? What? How am I supposed to destroy this box? Oh. Uh. Hang on. <laughs> Don't. But it's a. It's a box. I have to destroy the box. It's the only way. Okay, hang on. I bet if I time it right. <gasps> gaming, 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 gaming. Easy fucking peasy babies. Go around the side of the wall. Oh! Yeah, RFM! We, we, got the, we got the gamer instinct! We got the... We got the thing! <laughs> Don't pay attention to what just happened. RFM, thank you! For Ronaldinho Saucer. I really appreciate it. Hoochie Butcher! Okay. Easy peasy. 
Now do it again. Oh hell yeah, I'll do it again. Don't even worry about it, babes. I got this shit on lockdown. I got this shit on fucking confirmed COVID lockdown. Get out of here. Tiny was always my favorite boss. Tiny Tiger is cool. Also, these here... I don't know if y'all are seeing what I'm seeing, but... This guy sitting down kind of looks like a hyena man to me. He's got like, like two big round ears at the top. And like... Like a nose and maybe a mustache on his face. And then this guy on the right... That's just horny no matter how you look at it. The Wumpa fruit sound is such a satisfying thing. Yeah. Fuck. Hang on. Suck me in half, dude. Don't even give me that horse ass. I I fucking hate. Oh my god. This game's getting sassy with me. How do you know what a hyena comes like? Uh... Well, they approach, right? They they just... They come at you. Whoa. This fucking guy. Shit, I was supposed to use him? Are you kidding me? Well, whatever. I can't get those anyway. This game is intentionally infuriating. It really feels that way. It feels like the naughty and naughty dog isn't about like, oh yeah, we don't make we don't make your mom's games, you make edgy games. It feels more like it's just like, hey, hey, hey I'm being naughty. I'm sorry, but apparently I was given a year sub. A refem? Cobb? Oh my god, that's right! I think RFM gave you a year-long sub during like Apex Legends, like, months ago, dude. But hello! <laughs> Welcome to the Crudberry 4 Cave! The 4 Cave. Don't think about what the 4 Cave could be. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. It's, it's, uh, it's, a uh, Uwu. It's a little Uwu. It's a little Owo. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just a little low So do what? Hide the What? What? Why Clear would that work like that? 360, 360 gaming, 30 baby. <laughs> Three sixty gaming. Oh my God! It's okay. So nice. Saint for Rosie, she cheered. X sixty nine. Smile. Smile. The four cave is the prelude to the main cave. I I am the only cave. I will fight all others. Uh. I mean, you can you can fight the four cave if you want to, but I. Um, I should stop. That's not what I meant!
TTS took XXX as 30. Wait, really? Hang on. <laughs> it was just like, oh yeah, for sure, the Roman numeral. Volerii Chid X360, 360 gaming, 30 baby. Oh my god. <laughs> 30 baby. I love that. I very much enjoy that, actually. Holy shumped. <laughs> Sorry. Just a normal sneeze, but I remember you. Hachi Machi. Oh my god, you're so back again! Oh my god, you're so back again! Less Nyanya. You thank you, Safaro. I lurk now, have fun. I, I'll attempt to have fun with all the shenanigans this game has, but thank you for showing up, Cobb, and thank you for the lurky lurk. Angie. Wait, hang on. If we want to talk about faces that are just kind of hot, hold the fuck up. Look at this one right here? Hello? That's a crudberry. You got, you got sleepy eyelids and big doofy teeth? Hi, sir. Are you, are you busy later, guy on the wall? That's almost a year. That's pretty close to a year. Charlie! Charlie! Rawr. Charlie Fish, thank you so much for that 18 months. I could make a reference to some of my favorite Kanye lyrics, but then I remember who Kanye is now and I don't want to. Shrugby, how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are you hanging? You can suck my... Not doing great, Smile? Understandable, fucking hole! Sorry, that's not about you? Um... Eat, eat. oh my Thanks, lord. St. Ferozzi, she cheered X10. Kanye, more like Kanye. Butt spot, you get the fuck out of here. Hello? He he sub time. How did I survive that? Did you did you see that? Valeria, I thank you for the sub. Welcome in for your fifth month. That's almost a year. Do you understand that? That's- I'm going to shit! Never before has I missed the old Kanye song meant more than how Kanye has turned out now. Yeah. Like, God, the old Kanye was so much better. <laughs> Bro. 
Bro, no, I don't want this anymore. <sighs> I can't stop yawning. I need more caffeine. Slurp, slurp time. Blech. Blech. All right, let's go. I can't believe you can't spin that! Why are the rules different for this one enemy? I think this is where I last was on Crash 1. Definitely frustrating. It's... It's just so odd. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Let me up. Wait, if I die, can I do the bonus round again? Blondfish, you want a And so there you have it. It won't let you redeem a smooch? It should. But here, have one anyhow. Just let me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Cold fingers. May I have one? Wait, you can't redeem one either? Okay, him. There you go. Temple ruins. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my God! These stages. What have I, got? I remember this. It scared the shit out of me. Oh, dude, how am I supposed to be able to? Shit X10, how much do I have to pay for a Crudbear version of Jabastid? A Crudbear version of what is this? Jabastid? Never. <laughs> that will never happen. Anyone else not a big kisser IRL despite smooching friends online? IDK, just weird. I... I don't know. I'm definitely more reserved with Smooch's IRL. 
I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna go down the line of everybody I meet at MFF and go him hey, But some specific ones I will. They deserve a little peck on the cheek for being so cool and sweet to me and my partners. So they'll get theirs. Yeah, 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 you know who you are. You'll get what's coming to you, buddy. Ew. Get out of here. Hee <laughs> hee jelly time. I am so curious what jelly time means. How much for Maw Shot Redeem? Oh my god. Hmm. A Crudberry Maw Shot Redeem? <laughs> What would that be like? Would it just be like... Would I change my PNG to something that's like way up in the screen and just like... Bleh, bleh. Like every time I speak it's just like... Bleh. I don't know. It's... I mean that's a very like Sky Fox thing to do. I don't know if my chat would be into it. Although I guess your chat is just the people that you attract, right? So like, I'm sure Sky Fox started out doing Vor things and then Vor people came to him. What have I, got? I like having Buttsbot be a Vor fiend, but like, that's different, you know what I mean? Like Gabe's Ultra. Oh my God! Where? Wait, hang on. I even I even have that sound. I think. <laughs> Can I? Hang on. What what crudberries do I have? Wait, whoa, what the hell? Oh, here it is. Yeah, so, so, what, so just like this? Like, just... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I immediately die! <laughs> I could make that a thing. So moist. Say Ferrazi she chid x69. Nice. Say Ferrazi she. The way he determines to pronounce your name is such an interesting time. Fishy two chid x ten say for Ozzy C. Say for Ozzy She. Is subliminal messaging <laughs> hypno for subs? Hypno is for subs Aussie already. X ten. According to TTS, I am an Aussie. Say for Ozzy She. Yeah, you, you you're an Aussie lady. Now check it out, chat. This here is not a spider. Six legs. I ain't scared of you. Die. Hey, 
Hey, you can be a hypno-dom. You're just the one doing the hypno. I mean, sure. Does Leggy mean, like, like subliminal messaging is how a sub does hypno? Like... <laughs> Like, instead of, like, looking into your eyes and getting you to drift into a state of, like, pure bliss and doing whatever they say, it's just like... Man, I would love cookies right now. And you just sort of leave it, and your partner's like, huh, I guess they want cookies. And then, on, like, they're watching, like, a program. They're watching you stream, and you just put up a picture of cookies, like, just flash it for a second. X10, arachnophobia. Nah, just a fear of the number eight. A fear of the number eight? I mean... You know what happens on August 8th, right? Can you... can you imagine? Terrifying. If there's one thing that I can say about playing poker with furries... ...that when I look at the numbers on my cards, I don't want to get eight. Blonde fishy 2 chid x10, gentle room arm, a safer Aussie she. Kazinking off soft cheered x10, no tell me, what happens on August 8th? Describe in detail please. Okay, cool. Road to nowhere! God, my hands are cold. Oh god, this level? Is this level hard? What have I got? I'm gonna be real, okay. So the first and only time that I played Crash Bandicoot 1 was in 2016, and it was during the election. D do you want to know? Okay, let story time, real quick. Uh, election time, 2016, we fucking had a hurricane in Savannah, Georgia, and I didn't have anything to do like, as we evacuated and went just somewhere the fuck else. So, I had to just sit in the back of a car on my laptop and play Crash Bandicoot on an emulator. And I was like, I was scared for the house. I wasn't sure how far we'd be going. I didn't know, like... You know, I, I didn't know if the city I lived in would be okay. And at the same time... We had all just voted, and we were sitting there watching, like... We were sitting there watching, like, the the results come in. Um, or maybe it was the debates. I think it was just before voting, maybe. But, like... I, w I, I just remember... It was definitely the debates. No, it was. Because I remember seeing Hillary Clinton just choke on, on stage. And being like, fuck, you're really... You're really not convincing anybody. And I was like, there's no way that this guy can become the president. It's like, it's not possible. And all of that was happening while I played Crash Bandicoot for the first time. So like, going back and playing this, I just, I need y'all to know that that is the baseline my brain is at, is that memory. That's, that's what I see when I, when I look at this on screen. Is that? Big fat cock day? Hello? What? Why is that on 1118? Are those supposed to be the measurements? Is it like fucking... Wait, but 11? That's like a hyper chode, if so. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Poke 
Pokemon go to the Bandicoot. A bear chick? Sure, I can do that. Fuck this guy. Why can't I kill the pig? Foghorn Leghorn Day? Male City. <laughs> You're gonna make people in chat act up like nice that. Nice Perfect. Oh, that actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I like paused in my tracks. Oh my god, Kazen, thank you for complimenting my chicken. I really appreciate it. What? What the fuck? What? Oh. We did it? Suck my fuck my stupid pig. What day is leg day? Every day, bro. Never skip leg day. <laughs> I mean, that's true. I I do actually engage in squats every single time I brush my teeth. So that I could make every day leg day. do first this fucking sucks this sucks why did they make this why would anyone oh okay jesus christmas great balls of christmas what the fuck Wumble, Wumble Drake, Rumble Drake says F. I love Rumble. I'm gonna give Rumble a fucking. Uh, 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 hug. Sorry, that took a long time to think about. Great balls of crisp. Wait, did I say that? Fully. We. What? 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 <laughs> what? Excuse me? Chat? Chat, I landed somewhere. There's gotta be a way out of here. Alright, just gotta believe. Gotta believe in the, the heart of the cards. I am I am praying to Jeebless, and he is saying, you know what? Uh the outlook good. I think you're gonna make it. And I'm saying thank you, Jeebless. Blonde Fishy 2 Chid X10. I think it's time for some potatoes, tomatoes, Trinidad and Tobago's. It could be. Three, two, one. Huh. <sighs> Oh. Huh. Okay. Thank you, Jeebless. Okay. Suck. Suck. Fuck. Blonde fishy two chit X10. Tomato. Potato. Trinidad and Tobago. Tomato. Potato. Trinidad and Tobago. This is very good. Tomato. Potato. Trinidad and Tobago. Tomato. Potato. Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago. Tomato. Potato. Trinidad and Tobago. Tomato. Potato. Trinidad and Tobago. Fuck, fuck, fuck. My fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm gonna fucking make the jumps. I don't care. Rumble, can I hug you at MFF? Rumble, can I pick you up at MFF? Rumble, can I throw you against the wall at MFF? Rumble, I'm gonna throw you. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna toss you against the wall and you're gonna be like, oof, the wall, and I'm gonna be like, ha ha, I'm very strong. 
and that's gonna be how it goes. Rumble, can I throw you? At MFF, can I throw you? At MFF, I'm gonna absolutely pick you up and toss you up against a fucking wall. So how's that sound? Oh. I do not know why I thought it would bounce. Are you sure you can pick up Rumble? Oh yeah, I can pick up Rumble. I'm stronger than I look, alright? Do it like Sasuke. <laughs> you don't have enough hate, Rumble Drake. I don't know if that's true. I I think Rumble might be a little scary if he wants to be. Do it like safe for work, Sasuke. <laughs> Isn't that Itachi though? Yeah, Itachi does it to Sasuke, but it's still Sasuke there. Blonde fishy two chid x ten. I have a cursory knowledge of nart. That's pretty good. It's good to have a cursory knowledge of nart. Um, you need to know that Sasuke gets held up against the wall by his brother who killed his whole family. Uh, you need to know that Naruto has a big sexy man inside of him and doesn't want to let him out, but everybody who watches the show wants him to get out. Um. Because he's he's a big he's a big macro man and we all want to see him. We all want to see him get out. Everybody wants to see him get out because he would step on the village and it'd be really neat and we all want that. Um, you need to know that uh, Hinata is a weird character that nobody really likes, but we all just accept exists. Um, you know that Pain is a Say stupid villain who's really ten. cool. I thought he got choked and held to a wall by Ariane Grand. I mean Gordon Ramsay. I mean. <laughs> That's true. Oh my lord. No 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 if you ever cosplay something like Battlefield where you just look like a SWAT guy running around with guns, you get a friend to cosplay a cartoon or anime character to walk around with you so PPA you know you're a cosplayer and don't call the cops. <laughs> That's really funny! I love that, Kason. I need a safety Naruto with me all the time, obviously. Longfishy 2 Chid X10. I thought Sasuke is the one giving that monkey a haircut. <laughs> yes. And Itachi is the one who makes eggs. Um, and I'm not si Okay, when I say that, at least half of you are gonna be like, What? Itachi lays eggs? Oh, whoa. No. He cooks eggs for Sasuke. Don't fucking- Listen, I, I know what you're thinking. It, it's wrong. Incorrect. Say for Ozzy, she chid X10. Uh-huh. Why did it say that with such attitude? I'm gonna fucking destroy this bot. I have no idea what you're on about, and I've never seen Naruto. Uh, Naruto... <sighs> 
pizza show. Are you telling me there's another one of these? Because it's me. I said that. And you know me. Uh-huh. Rutabaga! Boom boom. Boing. Long fishy two cheered X10. My favorite thing will always be when people refer to Naruto as Naruto's dad. I also like when people refer to Naruto as Boruto's dad. Uh hopefully. Hopefully Boruto is actually a little more interesting. Because uh, it's not like Naruto isn't interesting, but by the end of it they kind of ruin it. No spoilers. Um, but they like throw away all of the theming they built up to. And it's just sort of sad. Big Kevin Monster cheered X10. Hinata's only sin was attempting to give Naruto some fucking character development that was potentially interesting and Kishimoto absolutely dropped the ball because Kishimoto's writing was falling apart and he even admitted at one point that he was running out of ideas. Say for Ozzy she cheered X100, I love when before you knew how the series ended you were like this is the best show. And it was so cute, but I knew what was going to happen. And now you're like, it's a show, and I'm like, yeah, now you know. Yeah. It's... It's just... I don't know, I... I still hold out that the original concept of the show was probably what I was thinking it was, and it was really good. Um... Because it's still entertaining. And up until a certain point, it still knows, like, how to keep that theme going. It's so consistent, is the thing. Like, the fact that it's... Big Kevin Monster cheered X10. Also, I can't look at Burrito without going a burrito because I can't take it seriously. <laughs> burrito. I love my son, Burrito. But also, I don't know if you're supposed to take it as seriously, because, like, it's... Like, that's literally where Itachi is just a guy that, like, is, like, trying to be domestic, and he's not, like, evil or whatever. Um... But yeah, I don't know. It, Boruto's weird. Um... It feels like a show that doesn't need to exist, uh, which I think everyone agrees with, but also, like... Like, as a Naruto fan who enjoyed seeing lots of episodes of Naruto, Boruto does not need to exist. It's, like, it's very strange. Um, but no, uh, I was gonna say, uh, a lot of the development of the story of Naruto feels as though the series was really, like, leaning towards the themes that I like about it. Um... Even, like, up until the part that I'm at right now, which is right after the pain fight, like, there's, there's so much consistency in how they represent Naruto and the specific ways he achieves victory. Um, and there's so much, even in the way that villains see him, that's really interesting. Um, and it's interesting because he shouldn't be able to do the things he does, but he does anyway, right? And I think that's really special. Had the monster cheered X10. Naruto was cool until it became Ninja Broke back mountain at the end, but that being said, all the stuff with Rock Lee and my guy towards the end was awesome. But sadly, Naruto suffered from all the other characters are cooler than the main characters, at least in my opinion. See, that's, that's the thing, is I have difficulty understanding how that guy was able to run out of ideas with a show like Naruto, because you literally have so much shit going on that's so interesting, and they, liter they, they don't do anything with it. Like, you want to try coming up with a cool idea? Use Sakura! 
Hello? She's so cool! Do something with her! What are you talking about you don't have any ideas? How can you run out of ideas when you made a girl who can punch through the earth? Use Sakura! And towards the end, she's like, I guess I'm here. Yeah, towards the end of Naruto, she's like, I'm gonna try cooking. And it's like, are you serious? Big Kevin wants to cheat X10. Use a girl in Shonen Manga. Ew, what are you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking that at the same time it was coming out, we had fucking Jolene in part six. No excuse. No excuse for how underused the women in Naruto are. It's, it's fucking sad. <laughs> That's a whiny bitch. Long fishy two chit x ten. Okay, your first mistake was comparing JoJo and Nut. But they're both shonen anime. They were both in Shonen Jump. Kazinking off soft cheered x ten. Did you know that Naruto was not original about ninjas? Yes. After showing the pilot, they said they liked it, but pirates, robots, and ninjas were popular at the time, and they told them to pick one and add them in somehow. I did remember that. Um... But yeah, I don't know, like... There's, there's so much cool stuff to... I was not holding forward there. Do you maintain momentum when you're spinning? For no reason? Oh my god. Blonde fishy 2 chit x10. I literally had the thought god I want to see pirate Naruto. One piece. That's just one piece. That is literally one piece. Okay, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I don't understand. Dragon Denton chit x10. Sigura? That's Sasuke. He is so cool. Sigura is the beauty fool. <laughs> the beauty fool. Also, TTS reads Sakura so fast. Sakura? 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 The beautiful Sakura? Sasuke. Sakura? I was looking at chat. <laughs> 10. I like how TTS says Kazinking off soft and safe for Rosie C. Safe for Rosie C. <laughs> Big Kevin Monster Chit X10. The sad thing is that I have slowly realized the same issues with my hero academia. All of Horikoshi's female characters either support the male characters in some way with a few random exceptions. I don't know. I just have Obi Wan moments with my hero when it does dumb things. You were the chosen one. Mm hmm. That's really disappointing because I also, I just started My Hero and I, I am enjoying the first season. But like, I could kind of tell that was where it was going. It was like, ooh, all the boys are something really special about them and the girls help. It's like, hmm. It's, it's especially disappointing in Naruto when they show so many of the women to be like, genuinely very powerful. Like, the, the fight between Tintin -ten and Tamari where like like they fucking break that girl's back and that's way more than you would expect for an anime but then you have an episode like literally two episodes away from that where it's it's Sakura and Ino fighting and it's just like hmm, girl stuff hmm I'm gonna change my hair and it's like <sighs> so disappointing. Why does that one fire not go out, by the way? What is that? Eee. 
also. Right. That's for blind fishy. Who's been waiting to do that? Dude! That's literally not my. Oh my god, this fucking game. Do you have to do a smooch for every fish? I did. I did a smooch for every fish. You gotta learn how to share blonde fishy. Why the fuck is the checkpoint over here? I don't see anyone else redeeming smooches, because there's a cooldown! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think there's a cooldown, but that's totally not the reason. <laughs> Oh. Okay. To be fair though, with My Hero Academia, I will say, and this is no spoilers, um, besides like, I guess the the very first fucking episode, um, but I just, uh... Long fishy 2 chid x10. Also, I have a fun image for you on Telegram about not. Oh yeah, I will check that. Uh, but later. Cause I don't want to open Telegram during stream. Ah! It's only for very important things. Presumably. Uh, let me fucking up there. No, the, the thing that I think disappointed me with my hero is like the, there's this theme of like being special even as you're normal. Which is present in the show. But they couldn't figure out a way to write it without making Deku abnormal. Like, they're like, oh yeah, a, a normal kid can be a hero. Sure. And then they're like, you are a hero, but you're gonna need superpowers. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. I guess so. Long fishy 2 chid x10. Remember when Nathan Drake played this game? I do. I'm... This video game. Oh my god. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Can I please get this mask? Okay.
And a jump. That's actually like a really cool vista in the background. Look at that shit. Okay, I... Mm, didn't think I'd have to jump to go down. I thought I was being smart and saving myself the risk. See, the thing, uh, the whole premise I like, uh, the world setting itself is great, uh, Vigilantes explores the world lore more and you learn how it became such a superior, satisfied, or saturated environment. It's the X-Men setting I wanted, where mutant powers are the only superpowers. Yeah. I do like the, I like the setting a lot. Um, it's really, oh, it's really interesting. tabletop game like that. Yo, that'd be sick. Also, Blonde Fishy. Okay, I'm probably gonna head out. Love you. Love you, Charlie. Have a good. Hababber? Heck. Blonde Fishy 2 gifted a tier 1 sub to tiny underscore mimiku 091. They have given 112 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Blonde Fishy. Fuck my... Hole! You did it again? What did I do? No! I could have spun. PC short demo is petting my cat. Well, I'm glad you took time to pet your cat. Messed up the box, you couldn't get the one up? Well, I didn't know there was a one up there. I see everything individually. Hi. My name is Crudberry. Give me the fucking mask! Oh my god. I haven't used an old PSU without my GPU because my other PSU was broken, and this one only has one third the wattage. Whoa. Your placement should be arriving tomorrow. That's good. Yeah, this this guy down here under Crash Bandicoot, that's what I'm doing for you right now. I, I've got I've got my hands together in, in fervent prayer for your your replacement to be a good one. Hello, King Sender. Welcome the heck in. Arnie Rat, I love that emote. Alright, let's go. Cool. Bounce. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I was trying to do it. Mm, get the fuck over here, you smelly man. I, <laughs> I'm going to Roadhog grapple you. Get over here. Get down! Okay. 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 
Saint Rosie, she cheered X10. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, jump, jump, jump. Wait here. What is that bat hanging from? What? Okay. Bounce, bounce. Yes. I still have it. <laughs> Technically progress. what was happening the second I got there and I couldn't turn around fast enough. The fucking PlayStation, my dude. The absolute fucking PlayStation. Is this considered play, by the way? Who plays like this? Is this fun for people? Made it. Cute CRT overlay. Thank you. This is a TV that my mom had when I was a kid. All right, let's go. Hip boingy boingy. Na 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 na. Rough in the jungle, in the jungle, in the jungle, in the, in the jungle, in the jungle, in the jungle. Orifem so Chid X69. Wait, Lim, how is this sunset vista or are you still on the lost city? I don't fucking know. I'm not Crash. I don't have a map. Femme Chid X 420. Feel those jungle vibes, baby. Yes! Feel the jungle vibe, baby! In the jungle, in the jungle. Feel the jungle vibe, baby! In the jungle, in, in the jungle. Rough. Go Thick King, hello, hello. Welcome in. How does this work? So... Oh, so close. I think it's Gothic King. Nope, I'm going. I'm <laughs> go, Thick King. <laughs> Look, I saw two Ks there. Maybe my brain is just sussy, but I saw them. You can be a Gothic King, but you can also be a Thick King. <laughs> Thick is a compliment nowadays. I don't have to worry about that one. You can cut me some slack. <laughs> Can you please? Is there a box down here? What the fuck? There's boxes? Thick King, the lost sequel to Sneak King? I do not need a thick corporate mascot in my game's library. 
That's that's the absolute last thing I need. So nice. Except maybe if it's the like, one of those like yeah, weirdly thick cows. Percent, you have to get all boxes without dying. All boxes without dying. Wait. I have to get all the boxes without dying if I want it to give me a gem. That's why I couldn't get a gem. Hmm. What if, um, how would you guys feel hypothetically? <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldinho Soccer! Play Tribal Hunter? No. We're not playing Tribal Hunter. I forgot that voice. Press start to begin. This game fucking rules. This game is not Crash 1. I'm unaware of the situation. If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Crash? Look Crash? at that production value. Crash. It's so moist. Nice. Your battery is fried. Um... Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring Over an extra battery X69. for me. Me? Gong Aga. <laughs> Gong Aga. This is actually kind of like... <laughs> First of all, they blink on the same timing. And secondly, this is so, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> It's like, are you fucking serious? You you want me to go get you a battery from from over there? Are you for real? Listen to yourself. This makes no sense. Over there. No way.
You know, but I am hungry. I'm gonna go to Burger King. Yeah. Burger King's this way. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> right now? Oh, right now, okay. All this music! Yeah, I definitely played this as a kid. This fucking rules. Have you played the Insane Trilogy? I have. It is quite hard. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Yo, the load and save screen, let's go! Look at him! <laughs> He's just a wacky little guy! He's just a crazy little wacky little guy! He's not like other guys, you know. Alright, first of all... Crash Bandicoot 2 is what we're fucking playing. And secondly, we always save on the middle slot. Enter name. What was his name? What was the name that we had? Oh, was it was it fuck ass? I think it was fuck ass. Safe for Rosy she cheered X10. Um, he's so crazy. Love him. <laughs> he's so crazy. Love him. Okay. Wait, I could... You could put a space. This is... This is the true fuck ass. Or we could be British. Fuck arse. <laughs> I kinda like that one. <laughs> this is very good. This was the first Crash game I played since, or I played when I was little. Yeah! I did not play Crash Bandicoot 1 when I was a kid. I played uh, 3 first, and then I played 2. Uh, but I do remember this from being a kid. This game made me like bears. I like bears so fucking much. Thanks for helping me move. I'm your bitch forever. I told you guys I was a top. Let's go to Turtle Woods! If I had played Crash 1, I probably would have broken my PlayStation. Understandable. Also, Ego! Ego Puppy! Thank you for being here! Welcome, welcome! And you don't have to be my bitch forever, just, you know. Until I say you can stop. I'm multiple places at once. I can tell. Because you're a popular boy. 
Did y'all know that folks love my boyfriend? Did y'all know that it's totally justified and they should? It's true. Why can't I... Why can't I get aggressed? Oh, I have a new move. Do I have to use that? We love you too. No, I, I, I love fucking. You're so cute. I am very much more in love with ego right now than I have been, uh, because I didn't I didn't know I could go higher. Could I get much higher? But I can. Uh, yesterday was a very good day. It was a very good day for being in love with ego. So every everybody fucking. Oh my god! You're so fucking cute. Tell my boyfriend uh, that I love him, and tell him that you love him too. Be like, Ego, we love you. This is a condor! Got him. I don't know, something about playing gunfire with you yesterday made me really happy. <laughs> Gaming. Ego is fucking lovely. Fight me if you uh, think otherwise. You made me cry. Did I make you cry just now? Or yesterday? Because I, I was thinking I might have made you cry yesterday. And, and you know what? That's fair. Yeah, just now. Oh, I love you. Whoops. Boing. So moist. Refem X69. Oh yeah, I remember why I never played Crash 1 once I got Crash 2. In Crash 1 you can only save by beating a bonus round for some reason. Yeah, that's really terrible. I imagine that if I got any farther than I did just now in Crash 1, it was probably by like just using save states. Oh, interesting. Also, ego, if you if you would like to be on stream, you could be. You could just hop on into the guest waiting room and I could drag you in and give you a smooth. That is possible. Small panda bean redeemed hydrate. All right, fine. I will hydrate. I will give myself water. Oh, thank you, Bean. Hi. Hi. This this creature looks like they're going to have a heart attack. I don't know if you're. Yeah, what are you saying? What are you saying? 
Mm, accurate. That is a terrified uh -huh. bird. Oh, wow. <clears throat> the the stereo sound is uh more pronounced in uh, Discord, which is interesting. That is interesting. I fuck that's hard. The bird is thinking, am I die? I love this game, but of the original trilogy, it's the only one I've played. So I did this in Crash Racing and Crash Bash, and that's it. It's surprising and, to uh, me how many people are saying they've played Crash Bash, because I thought that was, like, totally unknown. When I was a kid, nobody had Crash Bash. Crash Bash rule! Yeah. I... I just don't think that's possible. Holy shit. You know, it's interesting to me that there were, like, a ton of Mario Kart competitors, but they never really did well. But Mario Kart always is amazing. Yeah. The thing that's weird to me about Mario Kart doing so well is that it's... Like, 64 was good, Mario Kart 64 was good, but the series right. as a whole is not the most interesting racer. It's just got a bunch of cute characters yeah. people like. Um, right. Like, Crash Team Racing, Diddy Kong Racing, um, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. Like, there's a lot of games that are very, very good, like, multiplayer racers. And I just, I don't understand why people determined that that was the one. Saint Ferozzi, she cheered X10. Garfield can't smile. Garfield cart, that's true. Because Mario is more popular. Oh no. I mean, I suppose so, but. I don't know. Think about, like. What's another mascot? Uh, Sonic and. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Sonic. Why don't the Sonic racers ever get, like, reviewed well? It's not because they're bad. They're, they're really interesting. They're certainly too, no worse them. than Mario Kart. How the fuck have I played the Sonic racers, but no other, like, Sonic games? Um. Did you play uh, Sonic Riders? Yeah. That game rules. Oh my God. It was very cool, actually. <clears throat> Sonic R? Sonic R. I mean, I could see why Sonic R wasn't popular. <laughs> <laughs> the music is great. A plus. Um, but, you know, the game didn't look incredible. Mm -hmm. But everybody's supersonic racing. It... It's, it's true. They tried to keep their feet right on the ground. There's no time to look around. Are there lyrics to a Sonic song I don't know about? Everybody super Sonic racing. Try to keep your feet right on the ground. When you're super Sonic racing, there's no time to look around. We're just supersonic racing, running to the nice. point of no return. Supersonic racing, come on, let the fire burn. And then she says everybody, I think, ten times. Oh. Say for Ozzy, she cheered X10, but also like that was the party game people would bust out if someone had a Nintendo console. In my memory, if a friend had a GC or a Wii or whatever, they would pop out the Mario Kart game for that console. And when Sega had racing games, Sega consoles weren't mainline anymore, and center from what I recall was very single player focused. CTR was single player focused, but yeah, that's true. 
Well, I guess it's just because it had, like... Like, maybe it shouldn't have had a campaign. Um... Because, like, having a single-player campaign means that, like, you don't get the game and then immediately race with your friends. Uh... You get the game and then you're like, well, hang on, I want to race with you, but... Look at all this stuff I have to do. Look at all these gems I have to get. It encourages people to not play with their friends in order to get the cool things that you want to play with your friends. It's it's weird. I could definitely see the fact that Mario Kart is like just plug and play. It's it's more attractive uh, as a, a couch game. Um, but even still, I don't know. It it just yeah. I, I wish other games had more of a chance. It's kind of like how, you know, say for Aussie, she cheered it's 10. But also, center was hard as fuck. Maybe this was just me coming from families that weren't that big on hardcore gaming. Well, CTR was hard as fuck, but if you're playing with your friends, the only thing that makes it hard is how good they are, you know? Uh, and Mario Kart 64 had a lot of similar hardness, honestly. You had to really learn how to drift in that game where you wouldn't be able to get through things. It's honestly, it's really cool of them to just have the bonus levels be, like, actually directly below you. That's a nice change. This game feels good. Ego, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I got distracted by adding emotes to my channel. No, that's good. Keep doing that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. The soundtrack is so fucking nostalgic for me. Wait a second! At the game, because either they didn't recognize Crash, or it was too hard of a game to stick to, or Mario just had more recognizability, and everyone who saw Mario no, I did immediately go, oh, huh. it's Mario. Update my Discord reactive image to my to my rat. If you if you would. Oh yeah, because you're a you're a Poggers dogger. Let me see. Yeah. If you just use the default one, it'll be what I set it to by, on my own, I think. Well, but I don't use Fuji Tech, so I'd have, oh. to, I'd have to do it myself. Oh, okay. Where should I send you my emotes? Uh, I mean, j yeah, just send send me your PNG on Discord, and I'll just have it. Doing it. You can talk. You can talk in. Still call me a puppy, don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, don't stop calling me a puppy. <laughs> These are so fucking good, babe. <laughs> oh, thank you. What? They're really good. I appreciate that. Thank you. I put a lot of fucking hard work into them. It makes me happy. Um, mm, you make me happy. Wait, wait. I made... I made an art today that I really liked. Mm -hmm. I, it was weirdly my throwaway art for today. Uh, you can if you want. It was, but yeah. I got... Uh, <gasps> there. Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> 
I I thought that you died. I thought that you had broken the stream. I think OBS may have an update where no. at times when it would previously crash, it now saves itself and keeps things going. Because uh, adding new PNGs would very often cause it to crash. Look at this. Hi. I'm a rat. I'm wearing streetwear. And a medallion my fiance gave me. And also the uh, jewelry I wear in real life. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. But also, this is technically not correct because I would have to. There you go. Huh? I flipped oh. you around. I see. Hi. Hey, get over here. Right, right. Mwah. Mwah. I love you. I love you. Right. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> what? What the right. heck? What makes you say that in in such a a sudden and beautiful fashion? What do you mean sudden? You've been being cute for like forever now. Well, yeah, because I like you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm to make out with you. Oh, in Minecraft? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, totally. It seems like a seems like a wholesome thing to say if it's in Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, Denton, that's a... <clears throat> a Futhark rune amulet is given to me by Gaby. I'm pretty sure it's not Danish, or Scandinavian in general. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hmm. He's, he's, he's got a little bit of the Caucasian in him. Somewhere. I mean, he, he's... It's around. I mean, you put a little bit of the Caucasian in it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. See, I was trying to make that very subtle. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job, baby. <laughs> I bring the subtlety to light. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love y'all. I am um, fucking. Where is it? I should wash my hands. I was eating spicy food. I'll be right back. Yeah, don't touch your eyes. Before, oh my God. Before I burn my eyes out. I'll be, I'll be like one minute. Poggers chat. Poggers. 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 Give me that fucking gym. The Spyro noise gets me. I love that he does the dance and then he gets the fear of God in him suddenly. So, you were helping Cortex gather crystals, yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> Well, Crash, <laughs> know this, as long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, 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 to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g g gather the gems 
not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. <laughs> I've got to stop you from gathering, Chris! Oh, Chris. Damn. And Chris, Chris is a fucking handful. I can, I can tell you. He's, he's a meaty guy. I don't know what Chris you're talking about, but I assume this applies. It does. Okay, cool. You know, weirdly, I had made up, like, a fantasy Chris, but... Eat both both Chris's that, that I could have been thinking about. Yeah. Big boys. <laughs> you can't gather all of Chris. I'm going to assemble all five pieces of Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. <Making> Chris <laughs> yeah, obliterate. I was watching a fashion video on YouTube that was like, if you want to dress nice, you can't have like five pieces, like five random pieces that are like technically in the same theme and then just think they're all going to work together like some sort of like fashion exodia. Mm -hmm. Like you have to like pair things nicely just because everything's, if you got techwear, 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 and you just threw them all together because they're in like the same like genre of clothes, it's not going to work automatically. I agree with that. And so thus, I've had Exodia stuck in my head. But also I want to see the Techwear Exodia. I wonder why... Why does it open so small? What the heck? I'm trying to show chat the image that you sent me, because it's really good, ah! but it keeps... No! Ah! What if I did this? Hopefully this is okay... Okay. The following media is potentially sensitive. Okay, no it's not. It's not better. sensitive. It's so annoying. Twitter Twitter is like forcibly making it so small. Weird. 900 by 900? Can I like... Let me can just I, fucking can grab I it. Can I change that to 1500 by 1500? No, I can't. That's so funny, Twitter. I got you. here. It is unsensitive now. Insensitive. Okay, yeah, this will work. Man, look at this! <laughs> oh, ow! Look! Look at my partner's art! Hi. I'm Ego Cy Cyberpunk now. I gotta replay uh, Cyberpunk 2077. You played it? Now that I've accidentally made an ad for it. I have played it halfway through. Um, and I still own it, so... I could just go back and finish it. I'd rather watch the anime. No, I mean, the game. The game's good now. So the only issue with it... Did you watch, like, Sophie from Mars's video essay on it? No, I don't know anything about it, because I, I kind of okay. wanted to play it, but I don't think I care anymore. Got you. Well, the, the main complaint of it is that it's, like, some punk, mostly dad rock. Oh. Yeah. Meaning, like, it's cool, but, like, it's... Uh, I don't know. Think of, like, you have this, like, genre that's, like, very edgy in counterculture, and then... But they don't say anything? 
Yeah, but they don't really have much to say. They they took all of the edge, like from Cyberpunk, but they left out all of like the real counterculture stuff. Yeah. Minus the fact that like trans people exist in that universe, but the way that they exist is like an incredibly fetishized way of like. Oh yeah, you know, in the future, if you could just do body mods like it was nothing, you would totally have like huge ass tits and a giant cock, wouldn't you? Wouldn't everybody? That's like. Uh... Sure. That's totally what that's about. That's totally fucking what that's about, and that's also dudes in Poland. That's also totally has how fucking uh like attractiveness works. Like, yeah, mm. dude, everybody wants big tits. Everybody wants back pain. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hip to be impractical right now. Dude, do you want the biggest penis ever? Do you want to, like, not know where to put it? <laughs> so much fun! <laughs> yeah, um, case in point, there's, like, a side quest where... You're kind of doing, like, social work. But the way that you do it is you just track down crazy people and you beat the shit out of them until they pass out. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds I'm not like, even exaggerating. It sounds like true crime. Like that's, <laughs> that's like that's like streets of New York with the fucking like abuse meter that comes up on the side of the screen. Yeah, which is actually what they called it and I'm still <laughs> I'm still amazed by the abuse meter. <laughs> Okay, I'm tempted to play that. <laughs> it's, it's really funny! It's just like, the the gameplay of True Crime Streets of whatever, it's just like the same loop over and over and the plot barely goes anywhere. So it's kind of boring, but just, right. just to see what they wanted to do with that game, and what, what, by the way, was NYPD approved. Like, yes, this is how cops are. Like, wild. Wild. <laughs> Yeah. Also, um, Cave is correct. Play Shadowrun. Shadowrun is the real cyberpunk RPG. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you it's also based in Seattle. I well, I mean, power. cyberpunk is a cyberpunk game. RPG, After but it's true. just... That video game isn't... <laughs> yeah, that's true. The pits. I mean, Cyberpunk 2077 is still like an awesome like setting. It's but cool. CD Projekt Red, the, the way that they wrote that game is like not true to like it's not true to like the politics of the genre and, and I don't know. Well, okay, so. <sighs> There is a problem that I have with uh, another type of media um, right. that I think is really comparable to this. Um, so, you know black people, right? <laughs> oh, I'm aware. You're familiar with the concept, right? You, you, you know, like, I'm one of them, and th 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 they happen to be around sometimes. Um, <laughs> so, it's really interesting how, you know, black folks tend to have certain opinions uh, based on the fact that they were raised in the society we currently have, and right. the they there's like, you know, it's not it's not unanimous, it's not unilateral. There's still Kanye, and it's weird sometimes. Um, but generally, there are some things that we deal with and some things that we tend to think that are, like, pretty much accepted by the communities, just how things should be. Um, and it's so interesting how we, we beg for representation in media, and then media is like, okay, we'll give you representation. Yeah, 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 sure, 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 cool. Um, however, we are gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna chop and screw some things a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, so like weird 
how, like, you know, we'll be bumping, like, NWA, uh, like, like, you know, fuck the police, right? And it's like, oh, dude, there's a black Spider-Man that's so cool, I love this. But his dad's a cop, and, like, mm, and, like, for some reason, that's, like, a very popular thing to happen, is for the black character to have a cop dad. Or be a cop. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. weird, right? Like, isn't that strange? Or like... That's pretty fucking weird. Like, you'll have, uh, you'll have, like, superhero Static Shock. Woo woo. And it's like, dude, I fucking love Static Shock. Oh, this is the representation I've been looking for. Um... And then... It's still sometimes, like... Oh, yeah, whatever. Like, this guy... This guy is bad because he hurt public property or something. And it's like, well... Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know if you really want to, like, unilaterally teach kids, especially kids of color, that harming public property is a thing that... Uh, or, like, private property, even, is a thing that only villains do when it's usually a sign of protest. It's, it's just weird that they don't talk about that in the show. Um... This or like really how weird. the Proud family is a family of Republicans. It's just weird. It's it's just weird that these shows about black people written by white people just sort of don't understand just just a few of the primary factors of what it's like to be a black person, right? Like it's just weird that right. that's how it is. Uh, yeah, it's weird. To to Disney's There's credit, no reason for that. To Disney's credit, uh, you have like uh, you have that's a Raven, which has an episode like specifically about racism. Uh, mm. But it's an episode where Raven has like. Like, presumably from her reaction, has Sorry. never heard of racism. <laughs> Weird. She's like, this lady says that she doesn't want to hire black people. Which is like, okay, yeah, that's a real conflict, right? Mm -hmm. Um, But... It's... Like, her, her interacting with it is like... What the heck? How could this happen? And her friends are like, what? That's... That's wild. Is there a word for that? <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's. I don't oh, know. It, no. it's, it's definitely like them trying, but it's like them trying from the perspective of a white person who's like, "Does this really happen? We've got to tell somebody." <laughs> it's like, no. I think a black person living in America uh. would have experienced racism before she's seventeen. I. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, like, like, that's probably, you know. Yeah. I feel like my four-year-old nephew already knows what racism is. Mm-hmm. Like, hell, fucking four white four-year-olds know what racism is. Yeah. Why? Well, how did these boxes not show up? I'm confuddled. Hmm. It's sad to say, if you want the version of Static Shock that is truer to form uh, that you're asking for, fuck me! This is so... Sorry I laugh every time, I'm sorry! <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't lose this lives game is for just that. Funny. It is funny. Uh, and seeing the game that it came after, I'm, I'm very okay with this being a challenge. Uh, the original Static Comics. Yeah, oh, th that's the other thing? Comics? Generally so much better. Um, That's accurate. I probably would not have gotten into Sonic the Hedgehog if I wasn't reading comics. That's very this, fair. This product comic is amazing. Both of them. Or, well, at least the two that I've read. Um, which is the really old one and then the, the new one. The old one is good because it's insane. And then the new one is good because it's... Holy shit, it's so good. <laughs> it's just extremely it's, well. It's, yeah, like, it's very good. The art, so good. The the writing, ten out of ten. The characters of pathos suddenly, like 
Sonic has things to, like, change over time about. Like, ugh. Oh. And he's a little piece of shit, and then, like, his, oh, it's about him learning not to be a piece of shit. As, you know, like, a character in a story would do. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty poggers. Anyway. I would like to read the static comic. I would also like to read the static comic. Um, <laughs> yeah. Another thing I will say, and this one's not about black people. Uh, but I'm gonna go on a limb and I'm gonna guess um, that the creator of the Guardians of the Galaxy or at least like the creators of the so comics was. that were running at the time the movie was made probably would not have cast Chris Pratt. Oh, yeah, X69. Gonna I'm guess. Really yeah. Gay. People tell me I'm silly for Figured worrying that. about homophobia at work because they don't experience it at their job. Uh... Oof. I mean, I I have had that experience as well, RFM. Um, yeah, same. It's fucking... That's stupid. But also... I don't know. That and, like... I, well, okay, I have definitely so... experienced more... Like, as, as a black queer person, I've experienced way more racism than I have homophobia. So there is yeah. that to be, to be noted. I feel like racism is more obvious than, like, I don't know. Ugh. No, I don't know. That's really fucking <laughs> complicated. Dude, I... The sounds because on the I was boxes about to change. Like... I'm trying to figure out how many times I can jump on them before they break. All right, let me just, let me just count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. The apples just give you an extra life when you get a hundred, right? Yeah, but I drop them all when I die. Three, four, five, six, at least in bonus. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh my god, you're so fucking cute! I should have left. You're at one. Should have left those. We'll see. You also, um, because of the cleared out white boxes, you can't get every box this. Oh. Wow. Uh huh. Okay. So, I don't oh. think. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. No. Nope. So we need to leave the middle box. Or I could just jump on each of them once and then leave yep. them there and then go back when they're like angry at me. Yeah. <sighs> Rumble says I'm cute. Well, I say Rumble's fucking hot. That's true. What about that, Rumble Drake? What are you gonna do when you're attractive? I hope you're having a great day. And in, enjoying you a, little, a little cup of tea. In the in the struggle bus cup. Mm. That's what I hope. Guess I'll die. Oh my god, we're gonna see you in two weeks. <laughs> no, don't say that. I'll get gay. Sorry to go. Uh, Once. Uh, one. Oh! Uh, oh! You're gonna have to do a long jump to get back there now. Yeah, see, I had the cool idea. And then I can just do a DK jump here. Woohoo! Woo! Okay. I forget which cartoon character goes Waho, but Mario. Wrong game. Yep. Very far off on that. You're all awesome. Oh, Hinde. You're what awesome. What the fuck? But Mario? Yes. Mmm. Terrified Homophobia because I in the workplace. Oh. Um, Planes are spooky, but I believe in you. 
A lot of the a lot of homophobia in the workplace that I've noticed yeah, is less like oh we're gonna well okay there's like yeah. it's either a I don't think you're family friendly or b like I don't feel comfortable around with you like around kids or mm -hmm. once you're in a relationship with someone you'll notice who the homophobic people are at work because you'll be like yeah my boyfriend and they'll be like oh. Your person, like, uh, it's like, so no, much. my boyfriend, he's a yeah. man with a cock. Jedi 69. <laughs> <laughs> where if you bounce on one of those boxes any number of times, then leave them, they'll break on the first hit when you come back. Yeah, yeah, no, that, no that's, that's I what was... I did on purpose. I, I, when I said I want them to be angry at me, that's what I meant. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, continue. Nice space duck. Yeah. I don't know, I think it's, well, I don't know, but it, it's like shit like that that's led to, well, there's people I know who like almost got fired because they worked at a summer camp and like a kid was drowning and they literally like pulled them out of the lake and like performed CPR on them and then like, but they yeah. were like, you're gay, so that was oh, oh disgusting, how, how could you? Exactly. Um, and then personally, like, my ex-husband was denied so a promotion at work for like a year. Um, because, so you know, Genix married 69. to a man. Straight and then really one of like the six people who could have like said no to him getting the promotion was very much homophobic. Mm -hmm. But it took like a year to be like, oh, all right. Why is, why is John not getting a fucking promotion? And... Like, oh, well, what's the reason? And then... The fucking... I don't know... Made-up name, lady... Was always just like, oh, well, I just don't think John's ready for it. Mm -hmm. Or, you know... I don't really know, like... Is John really displaying, like, leadership qualities in the workforce? And it's like, okay, well, what the fuck does that mean, lady? Um... We're like, I don't know, what really got her once is that, like, she said something of, like... Oh, well, I don't really know, like, what would... What would, like, the workforce think if, like, John, like... Was, like, promoted while John's, like, you know... In a relationship with ego and it's like huh yeah that is a weird thing for to, to be one of your hang-ups why would that be <laughs> and then that's when we like finally got her but I get it took a long time and like a lot of people who are hateful pieces of shit um, are gonna play this game or they're like what no, I have no reason for just randomly not liking this one person who happens to be a minority. Yeah. It, it is it is nothing to, to do at all with me being a white supremacist. <laughs> That's also like... Oh my god, why? Sometimes it moves you over two spaces! Uh, also, RFM said straight people who ask their coworkers why they don't have a girlfriend and then act like we're shoving it in their face when we say why. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't under I don't understand the fucking like. When when are you gonna when are you gonna get a girl and make some kids for me from from the family? That's like the mm. most like, dude. This is not your business. My yeah, business oh. is not your business. And, oh my god, and people don't believe when we say, like, oh yeah, trans people get asked about their genitals. I get asked about when I'm going to produce a child with mine. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I would believe that trans people deal with some shit, actually. Like a fucking absurd level of shit. I want some grandbabies. Adopt. <laughs> It also, it's fucked. Mm. it felt so reductive as well for, for so much of my life. 
to have like the Ice. expectation of <laughs> the expectation of my existence be associated purely with creating children for the people above me to enjoy the fact that I had children. Like like so I'm I am here. You made me just so I could make someone and then you'd get to be like, oh now I have grandchildren. Like is that the idea? Is is that your dream? It feels so weird. I thought you made me because you were like, I want to raise someone who will become their own person and have a lot of cool choices to make. Oh, that's not how my parents... No, that's not how nope. that happened for me at all. <laughs> no, not, not at all. <laughs> and um, I mean, like, my, my parents like to say that that's what they want. They're like, oh, I love you. Whatever choice you make is fine with me. But then they'll yeah. ask like a million questions about all the choices I make. I'm <laughs> like... Well, I mean, it's From fine with you, my... right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my dad says he, like, went to the doctor and got tested, and then, like, the doctor was like, oh, yeah, you're sterile. And then, uh, no. But <laughs> he was not. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Cool doctor. Yeah! Having a kid in your 30s, just like you planned! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, a lot of people do I would plan probably that now. get I mean, a second opinion. <laughs> Boomers, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Boomers are a different kind of way. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I would get a second opinion on that for sure. Oh yeah, d d General Practitioner Bob. Hmm. Can I see like a specialist? <laughs> like, <laughs> like not that I don't trust you, but like, yeah. Maybe have like a lab of folks make absolutely certain that I can't produce a kid before we just oopsie poopsie. Yeah. Cause look, I would love to be. Oh sterile. my god. <laughs> I, I, do you know how cool that would be? That would be pretty dope, honestly. Yeah, it'd be really cool to just 100% no, like no kids. Not gonna happen. We had you because you wanted you to be a lawyer and your brother a doctor. Hmm. Yeah, my that? my mom and my dad both had their tubes tied. Like, um, well, my dad immediately, and then my mom after I was born. Whoa. The whole, like... I don't know. This is very cynical of me, and I don't mean to be mean to any of your parents, unless you want me to be, in which case, fuck your parents. Fuck them, they suck! Fuck those Thank people! You. Yes. Um... But yeah. Uh... The whole, like... Be anything you want, but I recommend that you go for one of these jobs. Is very mm. like, like, hmm. It, it, I, I don't want to say anything mean or disparaging, mom and dad, but like, when you tell me you want to be like one of the very difficult, grueling jobs that like takes huge tolls on mental health, but also happen to make a lot of money. It makes me wonder if you're just trying to have, like, more retirement money. Oh! I'm gonna be real. Like, yeah, sure. I'll be successful. I'll make a lot of money. And I'm sure that's what you want. But if you wanted me to be happy, then when I said I didn't want to be that thing, you'd get it? Uh, th there is a benefit to you for me making a lot of money. And so that feels like a conflict of interest to me, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'll be unsuccessful until my parents are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I'm doing it on purpose, but because that's how the system works. Yeah, I think about that a lot. You have to do, like... 
You have to oh, starve Jesus. for a while before you are like <laughs> not dying. Yeah. We are not without enemies. And then you can think about a 401k when you're 40. Although they cannot harm yeah. you inside this warp room. <laughs> I'll think about a 401k like when I'm 40 and have 1k in my bank. <laughs> you would it be anything you want from this pre-selected list of STEM careers. Thank you, thank you, Rumble. Yeah. I want Rumble as my real dad. Is that mean to my real dad? Yeah. Yeah. Rumble, you're still immediately be... better than my dad is. I would be friends with my real dad. I'd have beers with my real dad. My real dad's really great when he's got, like, just a little bit of gin. Nice. Um, we can hang out. We can play Halo. He's really cool. I love that guy. Dude, that guy's pretty alright. He had some shitty stuff to say in the past, but you know what? He's working on it, and I'm really proud of him, and it makes me really happy. That guy's alright. Um, I would like Rumble as my dad, though. <laughs> so, so that I, I just can't control that. That's just how things go. Let's go upwards. <laughs> Rumble, we love you. <laughs> Rumble says, "I hope you, I hope you remember how well we raised you." Oh my God. Uh, I hope you remember how well we raised you. Specifically, how much money we spent on you, so that in the future you'll feel bad about it, and then we can bring it up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you remember that, you know, just, just, I let you drive my car, and so you need to cut the grass for me whenever you visit, because that's what visiting is about. Chores. I hope you remember that we sent you through school and fed you so that when you have a boyfriend, I can tell you, no, don't go see them because I said so. Listen to me. Hmm. What exactly is the science on River Root? This is, um... He looks like a Nazi? What? He's in a straight jacket, and he has a top hat. And he's a mad scientist. Yeah. He doesn't usually he's have the mustache. Just from being a mad scientist. He's definitely much better without the, the the mustache and hair. Yeah. He looks very good. This guy is so silly. <laughs> Hello, Cole. <laughs> you sure you'd want to put up with me? Rumble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Cash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time. To tell you this, you have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Crash, I can't keep the data pack open. Crash, you need to find. Okay. <laughs> the Jekylls contain Chris. Or no, the, the, the crystals contain Chris. I read Jekyll above that. Although Jekyll would be a good, like, MacGuffin for a video game. My parents saw what their parents did and were like, yeah, we won't fuck up like that. And they didn't. <laughs> uh, that is, like, the opposite of my mom. My dad was like, 
I, I was like, why are you treating me like this? And he's like, this is how families work. This is how my dad raised me. And I was like, and it was oh, abusive. No. And he was like, how dare you? <laughs> I was like, dude. <laughs> I, hmm. My dad would whoop me across the ass if I said something like that. And I'm like, uh-huh. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a moment to be like, dad? think about that. Yeah, my dad was like that, too, but I've already established my dad is irredeemable. Yeah. Your dad's a piece of shit. Yeah, my dad's a fucking mega piece of shit. Chad, I'm not- I can't even say on Twitch the, the crazy shit my dad's done. Yeah, it, 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 Ego, Ego's dad's a piece of shit. Have you ever seen, um... Oh, what's that fucking Netflix comedy show? Uh... Shameless? No, no. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's like sketch comedy. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that's a... I think you should leave. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Uh, I love I think you should leave. It's such a good... Whenever I say someone's a piece of shit, I think about I think you should leave. Where he's like... They're like, do you, do you want to hold the baby? And he's like, hmm. No, this baby, this baby knows I used to be a piece of shit. He's judging me <laughs> for it. <laughs> They're like, no, he's just a baby, Walt. No, no. This baby thinks I'm a piece of shit. This baby's judgmental. Like, I used to be a piece of shit, but I'm better now. I did used to be I a piece of that. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love I think you should leave. <laughs> I love that the hot dog has just become a fucking meme now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a fucking hot dog. <laughs> the hot dog the and hot also dog the, fucking... the store. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, fuck. Give me. Well, okay, so chat, if you don't know, there's a sketch about a hot dog car that crashes into a store, and then all of the people in this, like, clothing store are looking around like, holy crap, who did this? And they're like, oh, okay, we, we figured it out. And there's just a man standing in the middle of the store and in a complete hot dog costume, and they're like, okay, sir, all right, we're gonna need to call the police. And he's like, what? What are you talking about? We're gonna figure out who did this. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, sir, come on, it, obviously it was you. And then he's like, what? No! What? How? Excuse me! Just because I'm dressed in a hot dog suit... <laughs> <laughs> you think I would be driving an entire hot dog car? I already have the suit! Say for Ozzy, she cheered at 10. Among us be lying. I already have the suit! <laughs> <laughs> it's just so that you, the perfect way to describe that show is like it's it's what having a serious conversation feels like when you're dreaming <laughs> you know that's pretty accurate like it like this oh. guy is being like like prejudiced against because he's in a hot dog costume but like it's not like he has to wear it. <laughs> like, there's so many things that are so surreal about it. Oh, that's... Yeah. It is very dreamlike at times. Among Us um. be like, that's true. <laughs> okay, anyhow. Uh, I, I needed some levity, but we can go back to the parent conversation, because there's a lot to say about that. Uh, okay. My parents. <laughs> oh, right, no, the piece of shit. Oh, yes, but yeah, but that's how we brought up. I think you should. Uh, uh. <laughs> my parents said when I told them I was gay, the response was, yeah, we know. <laughs> See, that's really cool. The, it. Yeah. It can be. It really can be. It, it depends on how they, like, frame it. Because, like,. 
I don't know. It, there, there was a thing with my dad when, when I told him I was gay, and he was like, Oh yeah, I've suspected for a while. I've been trying to nip the signs in the <laughs> bud. And I'm like, dude, that's not what this is supposed to be. <laughs> Yeah, that is the opposite way. You're supposed to be like, oh yeah, I I understood that you were gay, and so I've been trying to like make sure your experience was comfortable. You know what? Ironic. It's uh, my dad being a, ma a major piece of shit. Um, when I was like eight years old, my dad was just like, hey, look, I don't I don't want you to be weirded out by this, but if you were gay, that would be like cool. I would be, I would be I would be very supportive of that which is the strangest thing that man has like ever said to me given like the wild behavior I mean I I guess a broken clock is right twice a day Yeah yeah you're not wrong That's that's so strange though <laughs> We're going to use some big words here dad it's called generational trauma We're, I, I, I'm going to give you a big a big concept you're okay, th th this okay. This is the shit my dad's not ready for. Uh, d Dad, do you remember um when your pops would tell stories about World War Two? <laughs> so, so that was like like he's a hero, right? And he won awards for that, and that's really awesome. And we are proud of him, and that's a great thing that we're very proud of him. Um, but I need you to know. He was not always correct in everything he did. It's possible he had, like, extreme PTSD and probably came back from that not ready to have a kid, but he had one anyway, and that's not easy to deal with. And I'm not saying that it wasn't a good situation or that he didn't love you or that you shouldn't love him. I'm just saying, I don't know, maybe you shouldn't hit a child. Is the thing. <laughs> Damn. I mean, maybe like if you thought that was normal, then you should know that it's not. Maybe you should know that like, like the practice of go outside and pick your own sharp branch to get hit with, and if yours isn't sharp enough, I'll pick one for you. Maybe you should know that that's what they do to prisoners in certain places, and that's like a crime. <laughs> I don't know. Food for thought. That is a really amazing point. Anything that you'd be mad at the principal doing for me, you probably shouldn't do to me yourself. Yeah, that's a good point. That's like incredibly well said. I want to be the huh. one to fuck my kid up. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, know, do you know how to, like, totally oh. tell when someone does not have, like, a healthy emotional uh, understanding? Is when they have a dog, and the dog poops in the house, and then it gets, like, really sheepish and runs off to a corner and is, like, scared and sad and knows that it did wrong, and they go over to it and, like, yell at it, and they pick it up and, like take it to the poop and shove its nose like right next to it and they're like you did this you bad it's like dude don't do yeah, that to really a dog do that. <laughs> the dog understands also you have already taught it this also all you're teaching your dog is to be terrified of you it is not good uh one What's of my called? dogs, or not one of my dogs, one of my friend's dogs, actually, uh, had learned that when it made an accident in the house to, like, try and clean it up, like, it, it, it would smell like pee everywhere because the dog would try, like, like, rolling in the pee to make it not be there because it was afraid oh, of the consequences okay. of having it be there. And it's like... Don't do that to your dog! Yeah. Seriously, holy shit. Also, your dog does not want to pee inside the house. If it's doing that, 
You gotta, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's out. a like, maybe there's a lapse in your care for the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, you learn very quick when you have a puppy, um, and you're not a dumbass that you can do everything right and take the puppy out once an hour. It's still gonna pee on the carpet, and not because it doesn't know, but just because it can't help it. Oh yeah, it takes a, like a, a week for your dog to understand what it is supposed to do or not do. And then once it knows, it's, it's still hard. hard. Yep, because it has a little baby bladder. It takes like a year for a dog to quit peeing on the carpet. And then an old dog, old dogs are awesome because they're little assholes. They'll be like, "Hey, take me outside." I need to pee! Mm hmm. But, you know, by ways of, like, hopping on your lap and being extremely fucking annoying, or, like, picking up things and throwing them around. <laughs> My parents' dog, uh. Or getting right in front of you and peeing on something. Yeah! And like, yeah <laughs> this is your fault! You did this! Yeah. And then it's like, oh. Uh. uh my parents' dog, in in his later years, uh, it, like had a a hard schedule. Um, so like in the morning, at at 5 a.m., they knew to just set their alarms then, because if they weren't awake, uh, he would go to their beds. He they had their door closed. He would get into the laundry room because he could like push that one open if he tried hard enough Go through the closet from the laundry room through their bathroom into their room Jump on the bed and like just step on their faces until they got up. Oh my god So to avoid having the dog just like <laughs> They were like all right, I'll just wake up at 4 30 <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This game fucking rules. Yeah, it's very good. This game has a good aesthetic to it. <gasps> my baby! My baby bear! Oh, well, it barks like a dog. <gasps> He's puppy. He's just like me, for real. <laughs> I love bears. Mm. That's how my cat wakes me up every day at 7.30. I don't know how she does, but she's the best alarm clock I've ever had. Yep. They know what time it is. I love this level. Ah. <sighs> Right so when I when I said aesthetic, I meant like the aesthetic, like aesthetic by the terms of what like an architecture. I, I meant like yeah, the aesthetic of like architecture, which is like the aesthetic experience that you have when you're traveling through. Um. A space. Yeah. Like, this game has an aesthetic that is very specific and very well crafted. And it, it, it's impressive considering, like, what other games were, like, out at the time. Mm hmm. This, this game is incredibly, I feel like it's refined for what it is. It's like, very it is just refined. a platformer. <laughs> yeah. Even, even the little, like, look at how much care is put into that animation. So much care. There's nothing that happens in this game that isn't, like, an intentional experience, you know? Mm -hmm. It's really hard to find, like, the emergent, like, experience. Like, I don't know how you can, like, cheese this game, you know? Yeah. Or, like, why, why would you want to? This is, like, balls out. This is fun. This is so good. There's a huge leap from, like from devs just figuring out what they could do and not being experienced with it in Crash 1 to them being right. like, let's make them have fun in Crash 2. Yeah. Like, Crash 1 feels I've... like a chore, everything you do. And this game feels like it's, like, it's still challenging. It's hard.
but they want it to be like I don't know, like a fun ride. Also, that's a polar bear's mouth. I never knew that. There's a lot of cool whimsy in this game. 1997. It's Fucking Sonic Adventure came out in 98. Mm hmm. One of the worst aesthetic experiences I've ever had in a game. Sonic Adventure is great, dude. Dude, I don't know. Okay. It's great. But it's fucked up, okay? There is like... there is an experience in Sonic Adventure that I'm excited for you to get to, and I won't tell you which one it is. Um, okay. But th at least one seventh of that game you will love. All right. Fuck. I is it big? I won't tell you. Fuck. We okay. gotta play more. When do you want to play more? Alright, I gotta write shit down on my calendar. Okay, so tomorrow I'm hanging out with Tiny. <gasps> I love Tiny! I do like Friday, one sec. Can I hang out with Tiny? I mean not not during your time, but okay. I don't know, just just in general. In general, yeah. Speaking of cheese in the game, in Crash Bandicoot Warp, you can cheese a fight by standing in the corner of the arena. <laughs> what? In the remake, the crowd throws cheese at you, but they kept the exploit? That's so cool! I love that fact, Dad. <laughs> Genuinely, I do love that, but I am going to call you dad until it's weird for you or me. So I hope you're ready for this bit to get even more intense. Yeah, I never knew how to cheese the bosses in Crash 3, because I just think they're fun to fight. I, I like, never attempted to, <laughs> to cheese them. I do cheese things in some games. But in, in Crash 3, those bosses are all just, like, they're just good. Except the last one. The final boss hmm. is kind of annoying, but the fact that it's annoying makes me want to beat it. Uh, so I, I would like be that. upset if I, if I didn't do it correctly. It's not like that one asshole in Bloodborne that I was like, nah, just throw poison knives, fuck this guy. <laughs> it's, it's very different. That's very satisfying. Yeah. That was less satisfying. There we go. Chat does bring up a good point uh, in saying that Sonic Adventure was the first game on the game on the Dreamcast. Uh, Sega couldn't fucking hire game developers from any other studio. They couldn't get one person to moonlight like. Well, see, here's the thing, is it's the first game on the Dreamcast, and you have to think about what they're thinking about with that, right? They right. want there to be a futuristic experience that utilizes the graphics capability of the Dreamcast to its fullest potential. Uh, right. They want you to run around in worlds that are, like, big for the time, and have them load oh, everything all so at true. once. Uh... They want you to experience cutscenes that are like 
like way fast cool genuinely many i i missed one right. and i can't die uh, redo the level. uh they want you to play oh as... you missed the last one mm Hmm. they want you to play as six characters and have them all have different storylines uh even even if like a lot of the set pieces are the same like there's there's a lot of shit in that game that's really impressive uh i am doing that again i don't know like there's a lot going on for sure um but it's still incredibly loose you know like it's very obvious it's that studio's first game this is the first 3D and, game. Alright, first 3D game, which is also extra complicated. Oh yeah, because the people who would have had a cloud at that time would have had no idea what they were doing. Because nobody did in 1998. Except fucking people who made Crash. 10 out of 10. The people who made Crash and Spyro were tiny dev teams. Uh, that were just like very passionate about the technology and they... They put a lot of fucking work in uh, to make sure they made it exactly how they wanted it. Um, yeah. Also, uh, the people. Uh, okay. A lot of what you don't like about Sonic Adventure is the hub world stuff. You you don't like that it like. It doesn't, like... <laughs> that was designed! Mm -hmm. They meant for that to happen just like that. That's so funny. <laughs> no, Hub World is the worst part of the game in my experience so far. Yes. I will admit that. Um, because the levels are interesting, right? Like, yeah, like running are. on the wind in that one place, getting sucked into a tornado, and it, like... There's all this shit that going was on. Awesome. Yeah. Um, um The whale behind cool. you? Come on, dude, the whale. It was on every I magazine. That. Yeah, it was good. And that time Big the Cat said froggy and we all felt it. <laughs> <laughs> Even Sonic was like, damn, alright. Wasn't that an orca? Well, yeah, but... Orca's a whale. You're an orca. <laughs> Your mom's a whale. <laughs> Whoa! You can't say that! Oh my god, my mom is skinny! <laughs> I'm a nerd. Yeah, I love nerds. Can everybody... Can everybody put, uh... Either Crud be nerdy or Gabe's Rumble Nerd emote in chat. Cause being a nerd is go. cool. Oh my god. Hmm? <laughs> what just <laughs> happened? That was the most random intrusive thought. That was basically just like, huh. I wonder if like 90s collectathons had anything to do to do with me being polyamorous. Okay. Let's explore. You gotta this. Catch them all. Okay. <laughs> is that is that it? Yeah, I mean, if you see see any boy, you gotta get him. Or them, or girl. Yo, look, they look cool. You gotta fucking put them in your Pokedex. This is what I'm saying, you can't vibe. Wait, what? That's why I'm saying you can't get vibe from when Sonic Adventure first came out. Oh. 
No, I <sighs> am vibing based on what was out when it was out. Look, no, look. So Virtual Fighter 1 and Super Mario 64 are the first two 3D um, games to come out on home console. And that was 1996. And so Sonic Adventure came out in 98. And it takes a lot of risks um, and a new platform. And it I don't really feel like it executes on everything it's trying to do well. And that's okay. I think it's an amazing an entertaining game. I think it's culturally iconic. Um, I don't feel like whoever made that game was paying attention to what was happening in 3D at the present time. Because there's people who are like tiny teams who made really impressive games. Silent Hill, for instance. Which is incredibly janky and bad in its own way. But... Oh my god. Damn, that's a good game. I think it's more so like... Um... Uh, it's, which it's also the... have opposite design philosophies, which you should like, take into account, because like, okay. Silent Hill is like, oh, well, our system is limited. So let's play to the limitations by using this like fog effect that is like literally like like the fog in Silent Hill was made to mask the fact that um, their draw distance was extremely short on the PlayStation One. Like that's why it's always dark. That's why it's always foggy. That's why you're always in a dungeon. Is because the PlayStation One is bad graphics. It's it's just not a powerful machine. Um. <clears throat> and Silent Hill like plays to that and then Sonic Adventures I think all of the reasons that it's bad is that it's trying to do as much as it possibly can on the system that it's in yes and it can't really do that yet it's it, it doesn't really know how to do that and it's not if Sonic Adventure if they, was... if they tried to make a more contained game oh. they would have made something amazing I think and Sonic Adventure is great, but like, uh, uh. okay. Um. Uh, 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 uh. I think that Sonic Adventure was really a game that was destined to be on the sequel console to the Dreamcast, but it needed to be on the Dreamcast to sell the Dreamcast. Um, yeah. So a lot of context going into this, uh, there's a lot of game consoles out there right now, right? Like, there's, there's shit happening. Right. Um, the PlayStation is, like, blowing up shelves, like, what, what the fuck is happening? How are we, how are we gonna compete with that? Uh, Nintendo is really hitting it, and look, Sega is a competitor, and it's serious. But if we're being real, Nintendo knows that they're on top, at least for the moment. Um, Sega has already made a few consoles that people have been angry that they bought because they didn't really get the support that they were expecting. Um, Sega's gotta make it, right? Like, this is make or break point. Uh, right. And everyone's expecting Sonic because that's the big thing Sega has. Uh, right. <laughs> oh my god, the PlayStation is doing a terrorism? What? I mean, You're trying to tell me? That's probably that how fucking this fucking Dream distance Man was at not it. Big Kevin Monster Chitty. The Sega property? That's what I'm saying. At the time it was amazing. <laughs> it just had aged horribly compared I to other franchises. There is a reason Sega went to software only. It's fucking insane. Well, yeah, and and that's that's what I'm saying, Cave. Is like I I am I am mixing all of these different things together. Uh, so with all of this context, Sonic had to be big and bombastic. It had to wow the crowd. It had to be the coolest game on the market at the time, because if it was not, then why would you get a Dreamcast? Um, so it like, they, have, they, like they didn't yeah. want to like 
they didn't want to leave anything out. They didn't want to like not do any of their ideas. And all of the ideas that they executed were, in comparison to other things that tried doing similar things, the coolest version of themselves at the time. Uh, yeah. So like, yeah, they, they could have about... settled. But no way. They also... Yeah, their their time of release is also weird. They tried to like come out before the PS2 and before the Xbox and before the GameCube. Um. Oh, the Xbox wasn't even a thing yet. Nope. Microsoft wow. made PCs, baby. But Microsoft was about to release a console, and they had to get something out fresh to like get ahead of the curve. The thing is, is like. Did you know that, like, when they released the Dreamcast, like, they went to E3 and they were like, Yeah! You can buy it in shelves tomorrow! Surprise! And everybody was like, What? I don't have $400. I didn't have any time to save for this. What are you talking about tomorrow? <laughs> and so, it tanked, like, immediately. It was a very because brave decision to make, and now we know why we don't do that anymore. Yeah, why do you hype up your product for a year or two or three before you drop it? Instead of just being like, yeah, uh, there's a thing out, you've never heard of it before, it's $500, get it tomorrow. You have $500, right? Right? It's lying around? No? Oh. Oh, fuck. Uh, the Dreamcast tried to start the bandwagon rather than join and was horribly run over by Sony and Nintendo's bandwagon. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, Denton says, the person that designed the Sega Dreamcast controller was hired to design the Xbox controller. Oh, facts. Because they both suck. That's wild. <laughs> they do both suck. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes genuine sense. To be fair, Nintendo's controller at the time also sucked. Um, but then they made the GameCube controller, the PlayStation controller which is sucks. The PlayStation One controller was—it's too yeah, small, it's so not ergonomic in any way. It's the best one out at the time, by far. Yeah, but it was still bad. The I N64 just... is wild, where you can switch between <laughs> the joystick or the D-pad whenever you want. I can't believe... And like, on two little arms of one. <laughs> Nintendo was like, Alright, guys. So we've got this little rectangle, and it's tiny, and it hurts your wrist when you play a long time. So we're gonna fix it by making it round. And then they're like, no, just make it bigger. <laughs> Alright, guys. So we got this little round controller, and people want it to be bigger. Let's just, like, waste a bunch of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> you know that weird thing that one of the Ninja Turtles has that has three prongs? Let's do that, but like a controller. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between warp ruins. Remember, I'm counting. <laughs> Raphael's size? Yeah, those things. Let's make that a controller. We'll put like... We'll put like a button <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Just to justify the fact that it's there. Your thumb does naturally rest there. It's... The N64 controller I think is like the most ergonomic controller of that generation. My issue with the PlayStation controller, it makes sense. It you can put it in your hand, but like <clears throat> you can't play with it for like a day and not have your hand hurt. Well since the thing is like the the N64 controller, uh, I know a lot of kids who are like how the fuck am I supposed to hold this? It's very big. And then the PlayStation controller, I know a lot of adults who are like, how the fuck am I supposed to hold this? It's so small. Uh. Also, I love... I love, uh, Tall Brother and Wide Brother. 
It's a good trope. It is a good trope. What if <coughs> they're same way? What if they both jibs. fucked you at once? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Look at this guy! Wow! 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 Nintendo's thought with the N64 was to have a 2D mode and a 3D mode, but nobody made 2D controlling games for it. Why would they? Nobody wanted to play that at the time. I, I was of that time. That sounded like a horrible idea. And then my brother was like, Casey, here's a Super Nintendo emulator. And I shat my pants. It was the coolest thing ever. I was like, what do you mean? Every Super Nintendo game for free? Holy shit! And all I have to do okay. is get it off of LimeWire and get a cool disease for my oh, computer? Sure. <laughs> nah! See, my brother's friend man. already did that. that he got <laughs> all the weird furry porn on his computer. Extracted <laughs> specifically <laughs> the Super Nintendo. Gave it to my brother, and then that's all we had to worry about. It was awesome! <laughs> Dude, you just gotta give your computer fucking... <laughs> fucking cyber meningitis, and then you'll be good. <laughs> Holy shit. I love this game. Plant food? Hang on. I didn't say, I'm really glad I was on, like, the 90s internet and not, like, 2020s internet when I was a little kid. I... <sighs> it was a much safer playing ground. See... <sighs> I don't know what I would prefer. <clears throat> because... I on think one hand, maybe 2005 internet would have been the worst possible. Oh no, that was when I... Huh? The countdown timer? Huh? What? <laughs> I love how you're like, what are you talking? That's when I was on the internet! Yeah, it, yeah. It, 2000... 2005 was when I started on the internet, uh, and I I looked up pictures of, of anatomically correct uh, the images of human genitalia because I was afraid to look up porn, but I still wanted to see a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You hopped onto the internet for the first time when, like, 4chan was a thing. And, like, you used to be able to go on Reddit, and Reddit was just, like, atheists ranting about how their parents are wrong, and, like, photos of people getting their hands blown off. So... I don't know, man. Reddit, like, you... And Facebook was like, everybody was mad at each other all the time. Everybody was like, yeah, Facebook. You can, like, talk to all the people you've ever met in your life there. And nobody had the fucking realization that that's the worst idea on the fucking planet. You see, you're thinking about Facebook and Reddit, but let me introduce you to a little something called MySpace. I remember MySpace. Let me introduce you to my fucking absolutely blingy to shit page with shiny Sasuke oh, and like a picture of All right. of the fucking uh, uh, Mizzou football team uh, oh and like I'm as so soon as you happy. click onto it it starts playing like an Alicia Keys song really loud it's fucking awesome that's why I loved Tumblr because I was like oh hell yeah it's MySpace again Uh, secondarily, allow me to introduce you to Nick.com, which allowed you to make a profile and, like, have a cool, like, yeah, this is the stuff that I'm into. I like these shows, and I want to put, like, a big pineapple in the middle of my room. And here's some slime dripping from the ceiling, because I'm crazy. Like, there was some shit to do on the internet in 2005. Fucking Cat Scratch was on TV? Check this shit out. I'm the I'm the tall one with ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
you lost me for a minute there, but I'm still on board. They had a video game in which you took care of animals in the wild Thornberries universe, and the animals nice. would die and become carcasses that you had to feed to certain other animals. Whoa. Sick. It was That's a roller coaster tycoon. Awesome. That's awesome. But wild thornberries? Yeah. And brutal as fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Because it would be like, yeah, this animal's dead and that's sad. But look at this Look at this vulture. He's happy. It's a nice constellation, guys. I do remember the Cartoon Network MMORPG. But I didn't play the Cartoon Network games as a kid, so I was like, Cartoon Network's stupid. Except for Foster's Home, oh, which is great. I love that show. But the rest of them, no Sorry. way. Mm, pretty good. Courage. See, I didn't like Courage. No, oh, you piece of shit. I didn't when I was... You know, I didn't when I was like 7, but by the time I was like 10, I was like, wait. I was wrong. No, I, I didn't like Courage because... Okay, so here's the thing, alright? Nickelodeon had all the shows that... Uh, made me laugh super big. Uh, right. And Disney had all Cartoon the shows Network made that you made be me... like, what? Yeah, right? Cartoon Network had shit that would become what made you want to watch Adult Swim as an adult. <laughs> yeah! Um, but no, I, I went to Nickelodeon for, for cool, like, this character beats up this character shows and for funny haha -ha Spongebob. And I went to Disney for I feel strange smile. What's with all these <laughs> what's with all these Lilo and Stitch like fuzzy creatures? Why are they so cool? Why does Jake Long like do that? <laughs> Jake Long is hot as fuck, holy shit. I remember I remember being that age. Um Oh my god, Ben 10? I forgot about Ben 10. Okay, yeah, Ben Ben 10 was a hit. Why does Ben 10, like, do that? Isn't that weird? Like, dude, your whole body's like another body now. You can't... You can't just do that. That's... that's weird. You were definitely there for a different generation of shows. Okay, uh, Jackie Chan Adventures, also? That one was the best! Oh my god, okay, so that, um, that show made me a defeat, because at the very end, what? Um, what? Jackie has his fucking mind erased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking get ready for this. <laughs> you want to hear this? 10 out of 10. At the, the, okay, last episode, Jackie Chan has his fucking mind erased, and the, the big bad dragon guy materializes finally, and he's like, a big scaly anthropomorphic dude he's literally just a furry but he's like 12 feet tall and he just basically erases jackie chan's mind and like the mind of every human being on the planet and creates like a new alternate alternate reality of earth where like dragons have always been like supreme and like the first thing he does is make a uh, fucking jackie chan give him a, a mani petty Yep. <laughs> Welcome to J the very end of Jackie Chan Adventures. Sorry I spoiled it for you. But it is real. <sighs> so anyway, so I was 13 and I was like, oh. I feel funny. It was Jade? Oh, uh, was it? But it was one of the characters. So, yeah, an anyway, so one of the characters was like, yeah, so you have to give this dragon a mani-pedi. And I was just like, what? Why do I want that to be me? So I have done a search on YouTube. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've found what you're talking about. All right. But I have found... <laughs> what did you find? I have found some images. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Uh, Jackie Chan Adventures Drago Muscle Growth 2. Uh, <laughs> there's just genuinely a Jackie Chan Adventures episode available for purchase. Season 1, episode 13. And it seems that there is a dragon towering over an entire castle and stomping towards Jackie, who is incapacitated on the ground. Um, there appears to be a absolutely gigantic, like, literally mountain-sized monster who another little thing, like, flies up to the shoulder of and lands. Uh... What was your what was your Google search? Um, Demon muscle growth. Oh God! What the hell is the Shindu gulps? What is what is what? Is it just a oh character eating something? Okay, Dragon Feet, Jackie Chan Adventures. Of course, there's a bunch of fucking. <laughs> oh. I love this. Okay, good. He's just eating slugs. He's not eating people. Okay. This video slows down the part where he swallows the slug, though. Okay, Shendu. So moist. Orifem <sighs> Chidex 69, hmm. Dragon. Yes! There's corruption arcs. Demon possession arcs. So yeah, this this show awakened a lot of people. It's nice. I found an anime AMV from eleven years ago. Nice. Hello? <laughs> what did you find? Okay. It's not related at all. Oh. Um. There's just... The... Oh, I'm going to stop talking about Jackie Chan Adventures. Uh, okay, here. I'm gonna... <laughs> You one of the weirdest fucking rabbit hole. I'm gonna put that in honor voice, and then I can drag it over and show chat. Um, there's a related video apparently with these guys from one of the mummy movies that I had never heard of. So that's interesting. I wondered, I wonder what they're up to. Smile. I, um, I'm so glad I googled Shen 2 Jackie Chan Adventures. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Somebody pause the screen, like, on the exact frame that, um, <laughs> uh Shendu's like, yes. Massage my feet, human. Ego. And then it cuts to black. Yeah. Oh my what? god. <laughs> you saw it? <laughs> He's on in on air voice. <laughs> What I was going to say is, I know you're not about to send a fetish pause to on-air voice, but I looked and it was already there. You they did do the chat. shows very sharp. I, we're, all right, all right. I've I've had my fill of this incredulousness.
I had to share this. Oh, uh, look. It's, um... Yeah, I can't believe this is in a kid's show. Whoever made this is incredibly suspicious. I mean, do you remember <sighs> the episode of Kim Possible where they fucking... Actually, there's a couple. There's a few. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Well, okay, no, do you know what it is? Is it never involves Kim, necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's the, the the Kim Possible thing. It's always, like, Ron or, like, some other characters. But there's there's a lot of, like, TF. There's a lot of, like, I've trapped you oh, all yeah. in this summer camp and I'm slowly turning you all into lizards. Or, like, <laughs> I've trained with the monkeys for years and now I've become one. X10. Hey, yeah. did you ever see any episodes of Total Spies? And all the fetishes. Oh, we talked about totally no. spies in in Crash Bandicoot three. That did you that, know? We have done that. Did you know that the creator of Kim Possible went up to like he he met up with the creator of American Dragon Jake Long before he like decided to greenlight the show, and was like, hey, okay, before you make American Dragon, uh, here's an internet search. Uh, fan art from my show. Okay, just before you make the show, I want you to know, like, this is what happens when you make a cartoon show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh, yeah. They <laughs> did not know the half of it. They should have talked to the guy who made Gargoyles. Oh, I'm sure that was a friend of theirs. But had to be. The guy who made Gargoyles loves the weird fan art. Nice. Uh, As he should. Yeah, I... So I went on a Me deep dive too, a long time ago. Um, and I I probably... I should have done this on, like, Picardo so I could show y'all. But, like... What do you mean it sinks? Um... Oh my god. That's interesting as a challenge. Um... But yeah, uh, that that guy when there was a whole bunch of like fan art and fan like stories being made, um, he made a statement on a Gargoyles fan site that was like, "Hey, uh, I want you to know this is a Disney show. Uh, I can't really, you know, necessarily." I can't say that any of this is supported by the company, the Walt Disney Company. However, I love seeing the stuff you make, and I want you to keep making it, and I want you to keep being strange and doing whatever you feel, because these characters are as much yours as they are mine. Also, I think Lexington would be the gay one, but a lot of you seem to think Broadway would be cool. And I'm not going to stop you. They're all gargoyles who are all the last of their species. They would probably have sex with whoever they could. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, damn, dude. You literally told me that these dudes are straight, but $20 is $20. <laughs> I can see why Broadway has a lot of fan art. Um, I had to remember which one was Broadway. Oh yeah, Bro Broadway. Oh. I love their names because they sound like the people that they are. Like like Brooklyn yeah. is the the. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, Broadway is the big one. He's broad, and and Lexington, Lexington, Lexington. He's like the dork. I need to rewatch that. It's worth getting Disney Plus just to watch the show again. Uh, Holy shit, Keith David was Goliath? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? I... Holy shit! Love Gargoyles so much. Also... Whoa. Okay, the, the Disney show that everybody is sleeping on and does not remember being fucking great is Tailspin. You're thinking Tailspin of Tailspin. World. Go watch Tailspin. Oh, dude, it is good. The character designs are weirdly like they're very boomerish. They look like 
they look like characters in like a 1980s made for TV movie, if you know what I mean. Yes. But I love it. I, I love Baloo. I I have a crush not on Jungle Book Baloo, but specifically Tailspin Baloo. Yes. Oh my god, Tailspin Baloo is so fucking hot. Holy shit. I don't know. Well, okay, Jungle Book too. But Mo Mo oh my Tailspin. god. Tailspin. You just have a thing for bears, don't you? Something like that. <laughs> you yeah, I'm not even hiding my enthusiasm today. Y'all are just getting to know. You're gonna be sandwiched between bears. How do you feel about that? Fucking awesome. <laughs> my dreams have come true. <laughs> I send me back in time to when I was 15, watching cable, and <laughs> it's been like, hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I know you're lonely now, <laughs> but in 15 years, I feel like it's gonna be awesome. And shit x 420. Do you know who, in retrospect, is totally finished, <laughs> mate? Mega Vault. All right. And then 15-year-old me would be Mega like, Vault. "Why is the strange man in my house?" <laughs> oh my God, Mega Vault from fucking from Darkwing Duck. There is... I'll look that up, I'll look that up. What do you mean, you ball? I don't know. I think I need to watch Darkwing Duck because I remember... I remember when I was a kid... You know that feeling that you get when you're like, I shouldn't watch this. It it feels like it feels like this isn't for for kids. You know that. Uh, I got that about Darkwing Duck, which is a show that definitely was supposed to be for kids. So I'm curious really? what made me feel that way. I kind of want to watch it again. Okay, I'm 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 watching a GIF. And um, this show makes me, as an adult, feel that way. From Darkwing Duck? Yeah, so, like, okay. On air voice. All right. Yeah, like, you can't look at that, like, five-second clip and not feel that, like, I don't know about this feeling. Yes! You got the feeling, right? A Refem Shit X20. Also, that one villain from SWAT Cats who is a cat with a snake tail. A lot of stuff from SWAT Cats, actually. What about SWAT Cats? Okay. Let's see if I can drag and drop this. So, this is what Ego sent. This guy has his his entire booty out, and then Megavolt's like, "Oh yeah, I'll zap my <laughs> finger," and he's like, mm. <laughs> "Where does that go?" <laughs> It just looks. Oh, who's the Bobcat character? I don't know. What the fuck is his name? From what? Fucking Darkwing Duck. I he don't remember. He had his own spin-off show. I don't remember Darkwing. Duck. Oh, is is that Bonkers? Say for Aussie she did I did Bobcat. Okay. Swamp cats. But I remember seeing Chance in the YouTube vid once and immediately going like Okay, I forgot it. My initial impression of, uh... Fucking Megavolt and whoever the hell... Oh, Quackerjack and Megavolt. The second I saw them, I was like, yeah, these, these, these guys are gay. These, these are gay men. And then the first thing I find on the internet is just like... Art of them in front of rainbow flags. <laughs> like, okay, cool. I'm glad I wasn't the first one for this.
I can't wait to glorp that up in my guts and turn it into energy. What the fuck am I talking mm, about? You fucking wrote that. <laughs> uh, Silent Hill blood scene? I want to know now. I'm looking for my daughter. She's not on drugs. Quoted from Apex Legends. <laughs> What? <laughs> Come back so I can fuck you. <laughs> okay, I need a quote, but I need to give people FOMO now. <laughs> Smack you, grab you. That just sounds like something I would say, yeah. It is bonkers. Okay. Darkwing Duck bonkers. Dude! <sighs> okay, so Megabolt and, like, Quackerjack, right, were in front of, like, the rainbow flag when I saw art of them. Bonkers and Darkwing. One of the first images I saw of them was them standing in front of the Italian flag. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Fucking Gabagool Paisanos! Holy shit! I love the internet! Oh! Yeah, Denton, that is nothing but, nothing but. Uh. I'm realizing A, Bonkers is extremely cute. Uh -oh. B, Darkwing Duck was propaganda. Whoa. I mean, maybe not intentionally, but. They definitely had a little propaganda as a treat. Oh, yeah, no. <clears throat> so moist. I'm a fan of Shit X69. Also, Eek. It <gasps> was an underappreciated series with an adorable what? protagonist. It's fine. Just gotta go. F just gotta play this level more. Just gotta try for the seventeenth time to do this thing that I keep doing wrong, even though the timing I think is correct is not correct. It's never correct. Always gotta try again. Always more. More, always. Try more. Do you want to fuck bonkers now? No. Okay, at first I was like, okay, he's cute. And then, like, the police uniform kind of took over after a bit. And I was like, no. Not that. I do understand not liking the police uniform. But he is he is the wacky cop that the other cops don't like I don't even know if he knows what being a policeman is <laughs> I'm pretty sure he doesn't <laughs> I, okay I do like bonkers 
What if we just... What if we just take him out of the uniform and make him a fireman? Fucking 10 out of 10 character. But he needs to be the Commissioner Gordon for uh, Darkwing. Die! That motherfucker! Oh my god, we did it! We did it? Over from JidX20. Okay, you eek the cat. cat. Let's find. <laughs> eek the cat? I have never heard of eek the cat. Like, from Heath? From Heathcliff? Uh. What? Oh, it's a, its own TV show. This is like a Gar. Is this a Garfield spinoff? Interesting. Wait. Hang on, my sister's saying some shit. Get the fuck out of here. All right, back to eat the cat. <laughs> this looks like Rocco's Modern Life. This is interesting. I've never heard of this. What was this on? It's definitely Rocco's Modern Life. It's like if Rocco's Modern Life had a Garfield spinoff. Interesting. What? Huh. Hmm. Who made this? IMDB. So the, the tag is that it's the comical misadventures of Eek, a kind-hearted anthropomorphic purple cat who finds himself in constant mortal danger while trying to help others. This show has two more segments, the terrible thunder lizards and clutter. Um... Mm. That's kind of fascinating. Made by Steve Holland and Bill Cop. Steve Holland made. It looks um, sort of like. Yo, they did Tales from the Crypt! That's awesome! This is giving me, like, slightly Angry Beavers vibes. Yeah. He's definitely... Uh, the art style is definitely Rocco's Modern Life. It's definitely those... Like, oh, uh, what? Okay, let's see. What? There's an episode where there's a devil in it, and the devil in the Eat the Cat universe is uh, an extremely buff Dorito-shaped dog. Is that surprising to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> that way. Oh my God! I wow. There's the thing about Eek the Cat is that all of this is fine in a '90s cartoon, and looking at it now, it's like there's no way this wasn't like. Yeah, you know, well, no, have you seen the Muppets, like, original incantation, like, before they became four kids? Because they originally weren't. I do not recall. Okay, so season one of Saturday Night Live is the, like, first appearance of the Muppets. And they got chased off the show by the... <clears throat> well, the, the puppet crew got chased off of Saturday Night Live because the, like, <laughs> actors, the pretentious assholes, uh, Chevy Chase specifically, was offended to be performing alongside puppets, so he made damn sure that the Muppets didn't come back for season two. Um, Chevy Chase is, like, the worst person in comedy, in my opinion. Yeah, I like, don't like hands him. Hands down. Fuck that guy. That guy fucking sucks. Um... I think he's, like, the one person who's, like, not allowed to come back to community, if I recall correctly. Um... Yeah, so, like, the Muppets, like, original incantation was, like, raunchy jokes by adults for adults 
meant to be played late at night, specifically for like... So like, Saturday Night Live it, in its original seasons was not what it is now, where it's like very cleaned up and family friendly. The original Saturday Night Live like had Richard Pryor on and George Carlin on and like these acts that are like incredibly controversial and adult and raunchy. And the Muppets are basically like telling jokes where they're like, there'll be like a dinosaur and he's like, ah oh, man, my fucking poison spikes aren't working. But it's like clearly a euphemism for his penis not working. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just a completely different like vibe. And I bring that up because the adults who are making these shows and who are making like cartoon characters are adults. And they want to make media that they enjoy. And that's natural. And that never really went away. But because of, I don't know, I think coding. And because of the way our culture is, you put the fucking devil on screen. Um, it's very clear that these animators wanted to make more adult programming. And just were not able to. I mean, they also say so themselves. Like, there's a lot of creators that, like, eventually do get on to, like, Adult Swim. Or, like, yeah, of course. This entire time, I was making kid shows because that's the only job I could get. But I've always wanted to make, like, adult shows. And, like, now we have, like, Brad Neely's Hargnall and Slopio Pipio. Which, of course, like, fucking... I think YouTube changed it, you know? Like, YouTube and Adult Swim both. JG Quintal with regular show? Dude. Mm, yeah, it's just for adults for sure. Yeah, of course he wanted to make it an it make it an adult cartoon. The pilot was just two guys in a gas station tripping on acid. Yeah, mm -hmm. that that checks out. That checks out. Doing the AM PM. Nice. <laughs> Two in the AM PM. Oh, that's so good. Damn. DJ, what are you looking at right now? I am. I am looking at how HBO Max canceled close enough and took it off the fucking service. Which is so interesting. Because it was a very good show. <laughs> but you can watch it on Amazon Prime, I guess? Yes, yeah. Orifem Chidex 1337. I just want to say I love you guys less than three. Hey, RFM, we the AM, love you. Two in the AM, PM? No, close enough. So, so two in the AM, PM was JG Quintel's like, like post college or during college project, where he was just like, oh, whatever, let's just let's just make some dumb bullshit up, um, and uh, <laughs> it was about two guys getting high in a gas station, and they. They get scared when a cop comes in, and they're definitely, like, off their rockers. Uh, and then that is where uh, Mordecai and Benson from Regular Show came from. They were designed for that cartoon. And then they were just, like, put into their own world that had, like, the same kind of stupid logic. Uh, and then Close Enough is that kind of stupid logic, but just in an adult show. And it's really, really good. Uh, like, there's, there's a scene where they run into a bunch of crazy circus performers, and they keep bending oh their cocks God. into, like, different balloon animals. <laughs> and he's like, dude, we gotta get out of here. These guys are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, oh, my God. They, they go to, um, to, like, real estate listings just to look around but not to buy. 
and they get trapped. 69. Lol, have you seen the incredibly crude Back to the Future parody that turned into Rick and Morty? Yes, I have seen that. Um, it's really Whoa. interesting because because this is the kind of shit that like like our our professors showed us a lot of this stuff. Two in the AM PM was definitely shown by a professor at SCAD. Um, <laughs> Doc and Marty, I think the professor told us to look that one up ourselves because he didn't feel comfortable showing it in a school setting. Um, it's just so neat. It's neat seeing like the origins of certain animation. I, I just watched two in the AM PM. Yeah, and isn't it? It's so regular show logic to be like, dude weed candy <laughs> and then they start like seeing <laughs> shit and turning into different things it's weed <laughs> yep it's it's very regular show <laughs> fuck me oh my god i just like <laughs> is it benson who's like the dispenser machine mm -hmm. guy so it's in benson looking at like mordecai and just being like Looks down itself, looks at Mordecai. We can't help customers when we're like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> did you ever watch, um. Oh. Did you ever watch Workaholics? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> fresh, fresh, fresh. <laughs> I can't believe it's the same show. Holy shit. <laughs> you gotta be fresh. Dude, Workaholics oh. is... Workaholics and regular show are the same show. They are the same oh. exact premise. It's so oh. fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. <clears throat> what the fuck? Workaholics is the show that up. made Seabat a hit? What? What? <laughs> what? Seabat was in Workaholics? That makes sense. That checks out. It does check out, but oh my oh. god. Damn, dude. Holy shit. That was the scene it played in. I, you know... I'm curious if it's the scene I was thinking of, because the thing that made me think about it was, um... The <laughs> There's an episode when they have, I think it's just, like, acid, uh, on a, on a business trip. And they're like, dude, we said we would be good, we can't, we can't bring that here, we can't have acid here, our boss is in the hotel with us! Um, and, like, some of it gets, like, in the boss somehow. I don't know if she like takes it herself or if or it's, it's like it's like un unbeknownst to her. But she like goes down to the front desk and she's like, "Hey, I need to ask about." And then she looks down at her hands and like the <laughs> the lighting on the desk that's orange <laughs> turns into jello, and she just starts like picking it up and dropping it everywhere. And then it cuts back to the the perspective of the guy at the desk, and she's just like. <laughs> Like, head down on the counter. And he's like, ma'am? I fucking love that show. It's... <laughs> it's so, like... The perfect show for Remy and I to have been watching when we started dating. It was so exactly what our relationship oh. needed, I think. Holy shit. <clears throat> The scene is like morning <laughs> after a house party. That makes sense. There are a lot of house parties in workaholics. You remember that one show where like you were the main character, but like not you literally, but like the concept of you? What? Oh, you don't remember that? Bear that in the big blue house? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like workaholics, and I think it was like the same people made it. But the main character of the show was you, and it was filmed in first person, so it was almost like a video game, but you didn't get to make choices. Your friends would just show up, and they'd, 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 it would be like the guys from Workaholics would show up, and they'd just be like, Hey, we're gonna take you on an adventure. Uh, 
we're out of gas money, so you're fucking driving us to work today. And then they go to work and they're like a fucking rodeo clown or some dumbass shit. Overfem shit X420. Oh yeah, you took the secret exit without getting the gem. You took the secret exit without getting the gym? Wait. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to do that stage again. You're very correct. Also, what is, what is I this? Find it. I also very much exaggerated what that was. <laughs> it it sounds like you're just describing like one bit from Always Sunny. <laughs> no, it was like an entire TV. Somebody was like, what if we did an entire TV show that's shot in first person?